can't see me, so we're we good? We're good? Hey, everybody, what's up? Happy Friday. Ooh. Happy three-day weekend. Happy longest time before more work for those of you who work Monday through Friday. We were just we just came off of being locked down for a year, and you're still, you're congratulating us on a three-day weekend? <laughs> Look, this is the is first that... time all year I have not had to go to work for three days and not been sick. Oh, so that's right. So I get to enjoy a bonus day off? I'm excited for that. Yes. Yes. Even though I've got a million things to do around the house. But still, three days, no work. Mm -hmm. Woo! Maybe. Hello, welcome to Getting Baked with Crystal. Who's ready to make some shit? Woohoo! I see lots of you are making this along with us tonight. This is one of the most requested recipes we've ever had is lemon bars. Um, there are a lot of different variations on lemon bars. This recipe I've had in my cookbook for years. It's another one I could not find the exact recipe on Pinterest, which is why I posted it. Uh, in the group, on Instagram, everywhere. Um, I don't know what that was. That's the same thing as this bit since day one. I post a week. <laughs> we have to talk about this ahead of time. I don't ever remember these things. Um, there's lots of variations. It seems to be really popular to put white chocolate chips in lemon bars. I've had them that way once. I was not a fan. What that do you guys not, think? That does not sound appealing at all. You know, the flavor combination is okay. Like, white chocolate goes well with lemon. I'm not mad at that. I don't like the, I guess it's not really a crunch, but like the texture of a chocolate chip with the creaminess of a lemon bar. Don't mess with my lemon bars. I need that nice shortbread crust and creamy lemon bar on top, a little bit of powdered sugar. Don't mess with my lemon bars. And you know I love white chocolate. Not in my lemon bars. Yeah, Dr. Detroit says that sounds weird. It's really popular. When I was looking through recipes trying to find this exact recipe, there are tons of variations that have it with white chocolate chips in it. I didn't know that was a thing until a couple years ago. Uh, somebody we know made them and they tasted good. Just don't want that crunch in there. Not my thing. So I know lots of you are baking along. I know Hannah's baking along. Uh, looks like Di is baking along. All right. Who else? Hannah says I couldn't do the chunks. Maybe a white chocolate drizzle. I wouldn't be mad at it. I, you know, I would rather just make something else that's lemon and white chocolate. Like, let's not mess yeah, with the lemon bars. Don't force it. Yeah, let's make something else. Yeah, like the trash can. Because <laughs> no. white chocolate's, like, dumb. And white chocolate is not dumb. You shut your mouth. White chocolate is delicious. You couldn't even, even put pineapple really on it to make it better. <laughs> no. Uh, Melissa and Miss Christy are baking along. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I do want to give you guys a word of warning. If you overcook this, it will not be like smooth and creamy. It'll turn into almost like a cake texture, which is still good. We'll still eat it when that happens because it does happen here and there, but you do want to watch it. The, the recipe tells you to make uh, to bake it for 20 to 25 minutes until it no longer jiggles and a toothpick comes out clean. There's a fine line there, so watch it. That's all I'm saying. Just be careful. Dr. Detroit says white chocolate rocks, and you're losing me with especially white chocolate Kit Kats. Can't stand the wafers. Not having it. Uh, Dice says the sound sounds like you're in an airport. Does it sound better? Does it sound better? Let, does, let me does know. Does that sound better? It's the air conditioning it's, unit. It's the Thank you, Marco. Marco and Marie sponsored. Can we call it Marmar? You can if you'd like. <laughs> I'm still trying to get a sticker face for it somehow. I don't know how to get that done, but uh, it's blowing yeah, right on you, yeah? It needs to um, I can absolutely feel it. It's nice and cool. I'm not afraid to turn the oven on today. Gotta keep the talent cool, especially when they're gingers. Shut your mouth. Yeah, it's like 90 degrees outside. Um, nobody told Spider-Man, who was walking down the street on my way home, full Spider-Man outfit, full mask, ankle weights and everything like it was 1995, just like power walking down the street, 90 degree weather, no shame. I just, I don't even know. Uh, Dr. Trey says it sounds like I'm in a little hole. Maybe I am. Um, Foxy Koala is baking along. This might be the most amount of people that have uh, baked along with us. BRM Bugs never seen or heard of white chocolate in a lemon bar. I hadn't until a couple years ago. Not mad at it, just won't do it in mine. All right, so those of you who are baking along, you want to get a big bowl out. The first thing we're going to do is to cream together the butter and the powdered sugar in a bowl together with a fork. We're not going to do this in the mixer. We're just going to do this in a bowl. I may have to come over here with that because I, I can feel the air actually blowing here and I don't want to... You don't want to move it or turn it off? No, no, no. It's fine. I'm just going to move over this way. Uh, two cups of flour. And die, yes, you have eaten my lemon bars. One year at VidCon, I bought a tray, brought a tray of lemon bars down for everybody to try. All right, so we're gonna start. It's, I I have no visuals on the camera. Do you have this camera on? And am I in center? Usually you have me at least on the TV or something I, I so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So two sticks 
some butter. A cup of butter. Helen is here with the super chat. Thank you so much for the support, friend, with my favorite sexy pair asking how's it going. It is going good. Did you get your box yet? I must know. When you guys take your butter out, if you haven't thrown them away already, save your butter wrappers for greasing your pan. I almost always forget to do that, but this time I remember just as I was about to drop them in the trash. Uh, Sam wants to know if Dan got a new monitor. I did. You're looking at it. It's like I am. It's huge, and it's down low because it's not on the arm yet, so I feel like I'm looking down to look at everything. Um, all right, so two sticks of butter in here, and then we're going to put in, oh, I'm sorry, the powdered sugar. Half a cup of powdered sugar first. Get your head in. I'm just not here yet. <laughs> Sorry. I'm still like, woohoo, three day weekend. Can we relax and like hang out? While I do this, what's everybody's plans for the three day weekend? I, I know a lot of places, a lot of people are getting vaccinated. A lot of places are opening up. You're allowed to do some things in some places. Anybody like barbecuing, having friends over, able to go out and do anything? Okay, so half a cup of powdered sugar and two sticks of softened butter. And Margaret says, yeah, I love this recipe. Me too. Like the powdered sugar is just like all staticky blowing everywhere. Uh, Dr. Trey says, I absolutely love this shirt. This was at courtesy of Husky Tales 101 who I have not seen here yet, but thank you. All right, so you just mash this together with your fork until it's all mixed together nice and smooth. Yes, Tristan, lemon stuff is the best. I do have another le lemon recipe coming up, I think, I think in July. I don't think I have that on the calendar for June. If you guys haven't seen it, we did post a calendar on Facebook um, so you guys can kind of plan ahead and see what we're doing. We've got some fun new stuff planned for next month for Wednesday night shows. The, the cooking show was kind of a lot, so we decided to kind of mix it up with uh, different things that we wanted to add in that we just don't have time to add another night of live streaming, so we're going to mix it up. We will still be doing the cooking show once a month, but we're also going to add in uh, the live hangout like we did a few weeks ago. We are adding in, what else are we doing, Dan? A game night? where we're going to play video games that you guys can log in on your phone and play along with us. The Jackbox games, if you guys are familiar with those. Sometimes board games. We are going to try to figure out a way to do board games as well. And I think we're going to try to consistently do this on the months that have five Wednesdays. We're going to try to do a paint night. We're going to do our first one next month on the 30th. I did make a post about that. If you guys haven't seen it, go check that out on... The RFS Dan and Family Facebook page. Uh, join it if you haven't already. But I did post a link so you guys can get the same uh, kit that we're getting to paint the same picture with us. It's really cute. It's a little mushroom. Uh, Hello with the super chat says, yeah, I tried a few of the cereals. Yummy. Thanks heaps to you both. Plus, I've got a box to send this week again. Thank you so much. Yeah, I heard you guys don't have the same kind of cereals out there. So we had to get in on that and send you some cereals. Okay, so... You guys can see this is just softened butter and powdered sugar. So it's just creamy all mixed together as well as I could. I can't really get it off the sides too well, but there we go. So to that, we're going to add two cups of flour and also mix that by hand just until it's blended. You don't want to over mix it. Christine says, I had a lemon bar once. It was really good, but never made them myself. You should. They're delicious. This is one of my favorite things to make. The unfortunate thing that's going to break Dan's heart is you can't eat these tonight. Those of you baking along, you're not going to want to eat these tonight. <laughs> you hate that. Uh, you'll definitely want to refrigerate them overnight, but you'll want to eat them for breakfast. I promise you. All right. So carefully mix this together so as not to fling flour everywhere. I saw variations on the crust where they had, instead of powdered sugar, they were adding sugar. I like it with powdered sugar. I, I love this recipe. I tried a few of them. This is the one that I settled on and I really love. 
Uh, ScoutRush.com is sending positive vibes to all lemon fans. That's what I like to see. Lemon's the best. I love making lemon things. Our friend Cheryl's family owns uh, some lemon orchards. I think I've talked to you guys about this before. and brings us cases of lemons at a time. And I, if you guys don't know, if you haven't heard me say it before, when you have lemons, grate the outside, get the zest off of it, squeeze all the juice out. Even if you're not using it right then, freeze it for later. It does freeze like very well. I like the zest. Do you? <laughs> Good to know. I don't like the way you achieve the zest. It feels some sort of like cannibalistic <laughs> yeah, nature you don't like to that? it. Yeah, I think I have a microphone. It feels cannibalistic, but I, 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 I do like zest. I think yeah. we talked about that. Yes, Marco, we will we will review them on tomorrow's show. On the after show of Dantix, we will be eating some lemon bars. Yeah, so you can freeze lemon juice. I just measure out a tablespoon at a time and throw it in uh, an ice tray and throw it in the freezer. And then once they're frozen, pop them out, throw them in a Tupperware and keep that in your freezer so you always have lemon. Uh, super handy, even if you just want to like throw it in your water or Terry cooked up some steaks for us, well, for them last weekend and grabbed a, a lemon ice cube and threw it in there. Really handy to have frozen lemon in there. So if you come up on lemons, if they're cheap, don't be afraid to freeze them. I will say, I don't think the zest lasts, lasts quite as long. It starts to look a little weird and have kind of a weird texture, but you can still freeze it for a while. What is what is the stuff you get in the plastic lemon? Um, it's lemon juice. It'll do in a pinch, but it's I don't even know if it's real lemon juice. I don't I don't know. I've used it. Like it's handy to keep that in there, but since I've had all this frozen lemon, I haven't had to. Angela's member hawk turned to the six month color. If you guys aren't already, you can become a member somewhere yeah, around no, here. You. It's about five bucks a month, gets you that awesome hawk next to your name. Your name turns green, so you stand out a little bit more. And uh, you get early access to member first vlogs. Oh yeah, this, uh, this last week we went to Charlie Brown Farms. Yes, if you guys don't know what that is, become a member and check out that vlog. It is the land of forgotten things. <laughs> Yeah, Th right. Things you never right. knew you wanted or wonder why they exist, I think, at the same time. Uh, super chat from Amanda. Thank you so much for the support. Tips are awesome as baker slash teacher and host. Thank you. I appreciate that. Amanda posted that she does not like tart things. I will say, I don't think these lemon bars come out very tart. Um, you know, if you're really not a lemon fan, you're probably not going to like these. But they're pretty sweet. They're, they're less tart than sweet. No, wait. Yeah. But, yeah, I Yahoo. said that, right? Ben is here. Hello, Ben. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Ben. All right. So you guys can see this is starting to come together into a dough. Usually towards the end, I'll just kind of mash it together with my hands just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Kind of scrape everything off the bottom of your, the bowl. Your dough's a little out of screen there. Sorry. I couldn't reach it when it was far away. It's okay, dough. <laughs> oh, stop. Uh, Uncle Yukon said there was a members only thing yesterday, was it? I don't think yesterday. What, what was? Members only vlog? When was the last? Uh, or when one is the was next? Sunday and one will be this Sunday. Okay. Oh, weekly. Look at you go. Terry showed up. No, it was just Terry showed up last week. Right. We actually did a thing and, and left the house. I also have a. I also have a. I, the last members only vlog will go to regular public. That, to public now? Gotcha. Jess is here. Hello, Jess. <laughs> yes, it's not Saturday yet. Don't get ahead of our three-day weekend. We're still on night one. What did Jess say? <laughs> she said, happy Saturday, friends. Oh, wait, it's Friday. <laughs> happy Friday, friends. <laughs> okay, so if you saved your butter wrappers. What's up? The chat wants to know if it's a vodka night or not. Three-day weekend. Not quite yet, but yeah, I think, I think it might be tonight. Um, if you saved your butter wrappers, just put them on here. It looks like the butter's gone, but there is enough uh, in the two wrappers. There should be enough to grease the pan. And you want to make sure you get down into the edges and corners so it does not stick when you pull them out. By the way, we're well, back on Readstream now, so oh, nice. um, you can say hello to Facebook so and Twitter. Face or twi Facebook Twitch and Twitch. Twitch. Hello, Facebookers and Twitchers. Yes. Are you twitching? We're back. So, yeah, 
The Biglers are here. Hello, Natalie and Gregory and Wesley and Nanda. Thank you guys for watching. Are you making lemon bars, Nanda? I bet the kids would love them. <laughs> she hates me for that, by the way. I'm sure. <laughs> are you still hot? No, I'm good. Okay. Is this PJ with the super chat. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it, friends. Still at work. Boo! Don't they know it's about to be a three-day weekend? Busy day, gradually going insane. Oh, <laughs> you should walk outside, call them and tell them you're sick, and then go home. <laughs> gradually going insane. <laughs> One of the guys this week went home for lunch and called me an hour and a half later and told me he was sick. He was not sick. He just didn't want to come back to work. Uh, Angie with the t-shirt idea from her daughter. When life gives you lemons, grate the zest off, squeeze all the juice and freeze it. Hell yeah. Wait, what's the difference between, what's the difference between zesting and like defleshing? Cause it's just so cre I just can't get over it. <laughs> I, I so don't you, know why it creeps you so out you so much. You want to deflesh your lemons. <laughs> You're kind of defleshing it. All right, so once you've buttered your pan, just do a sprinkling of flour on there. And you can do this in any way you want. If you guys just want to use a cooking spray, if you want to use shortening, anything like that will work. I am partial to butter and flour, but any sort of greasing type stuff will work. <laughs> PJ says, I work from home. There's no excuses for me. Oh, are you your own boss? Can you tell yourself you're sick? Does that work? Oh, uh, I... I fired myself twice last week. <laughs> <laughs> I did. So then I just kind of shake it around, make sure you coat the pan evenly. Make sure you get it up onto the sides. I just turn it sideways, usually over the sink in case I spill, and just shake it to get it onto the sides of the pan. Need a little bit more flour. <laughs> Dr. Detroit says, defleshing. Dan, it's cooking, not a murdering. I don't, you know, I don't know. I just... I don't know. There you go. I think I fixed audio now, so Dai is not going to go nuts. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want no brain bleeds. <laughs> I feel like I've missed an inside joke with that. Okay, so pan is greased, dough is mixed. So when you spread this, you want to kind of be careful because you don't want to smush your pan greasing around. So I will usually take some of it, mash it flat in my hand as much as I can. Kind of leave yourself a little extra on one side, like a little bit thicker, and then lay it down in there. We're gonna eventually mash this into one even layer, but right now we don't wanna just put it in there and mash because you're just gonna smear your butter and flour mixture layer across. <laughs> My last week adventure says, new saying, let's deflesh a lemon. <laughs> well, I don't know what you want me to call it. Zesting. Don't you like the word yeah, zest? What's like, the problem with that? Yeah, but look, okay, so here's the thing. We decided that inevitably I'm going to die via murder by you. And let's say that... You know I'm like so squeamish about like blood and guts and stuff. But do you think after they see that you've skinned me, are they going to say that he's zested? <laughs> no. Her boyfriend, or is, is are they gonna say that you? No, you me? zest like fruits, like citrus fruits. You zest. You, then you could be the first murderer to zest somebody. But you know what? When I snap and you absolutely make me insane, and I finally decide to kill you, I will take the cheese grater and, and then, I will zest you just to make you happy. She zested him to death. <laughs> to death. What's the title of that episode gonna be? When life gives you lemons. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you make murder. <laughs> <laughs> so we are defleshing a lemon and zesting people. Yes, yes, sure. Yes, PJ, we're going to autopsy this fruit. <laughs> All right, so let's get some in this corner. Crystal goes dancing. Yeah, that, that could be the name of the episode. If I ever do murder somebody, it will be Dan because he drives me insane. <laughs> I mean, no, it wasn't me. So when you spread this in here, um, like I said, you spread it across the bottom and then you kind of want to go up the sides about an inch. This is a hard thing to eyeball. If you go up too high, it's not a big deal. You'll just have a little extra crust up the side on the edge pieces. If you go too low, it kind of sucks because then your filling's going to scoop over the edge. I don't really know how to gauge like how high your filling, like I never measured the filling. So I'm not really sure how high it goes. 
you just kind of have to eyeball it, I guess. But definitely err on the side of going too high rather than too low. Amanda says, somebody please tell me to go clean the rest of the kitchen. I'm so tired and comfy on the couch. Make Chris do it. Isn't that why we have significant others? So sometimes you can go, I don't feel like doing it. Can you do it for me? All right, so I'm just kind of patching the holes and then the areas where it looks like I don't have enough to go up the sides, I'm sticking an extra little bit in there. How do you feel so far? you feel good with this? Because this is one of these things that there's so many times it can go bad and it has. We've yes. seen it go bad every way. Like, we might have the most failure rate at lemon bars, but we've made them a ton. Yes. How do we feel with the dough? Does um, it feel the, good? The, by now you the dough feel feels too, fine. Too, too dry or not? No, no, no. The dough is fine. Um, my biggest issue is always overcooking, and then it gets cakey. Okay, that's what we've... Okay. That's we've the had it biggest a problem. Few times. What yeah. happened was Crystal made lemon bars once, and this was the best thing ever, and I told the world about it, and then I have invited the world over to my house for lemon bars, and then wah, wah. It, it was happens. stunt bars. They were like rubber. Oh. But then, so then we di then we realized that it doesn't always work. But for right now, we're good, right? It looks good from here. It looks we're, nice and we're like good. Oh, I do need moist. to preheat the oven. If you guys haven't already, oh my gosh, put your oven at 350. Put it on 600, so double in half the time. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> um, so we do cook the, the bottom dough for a few minutes before we put the filling in it and then we cook it with the filling. If you don't do that, you're just going to get raw dough because the filling's going to be on top of it. I'm excited for tomorrow. Why? Because that's when I can have the oh, lemon bars. Oh, for lemon bars tomorrow? Yeah. I've kind of learned that like I can't even get excited about these today. But no. tomorrow, Dan's. Tomorrow, Future Dan's, Dan's going to love, love me. Love it. Totally love it. Uh, one other thing you want to do is when you get to the corners of your pan, you want to make sure that you push it um, down a little bit. That's another thing that tends to happen is it gets a little bit thick in the corners. Again, not a problem if you like the ones, you know, the, the one lemon bar, or I guess four because you got four corners, that has a little bit of extra crust on it, you're good to go. Um, but I like to try to make it as even as I can all around the edges. And this is just a basic shortbread crust. You know, we put half a cup of powdered sugar in it, but it's not a super sweet crust. Hannah is not confident in her dough. Why not, friend? Let me show you. This is where we're at right now. I have to wait for the camera on the screen to catch up so I can no, see you're, you're that perfect. I'm... So I still have some, some blotches I want to flatten out a little bit. Still mashing up the sides. Got warm in here, real quick. Dang, Tristan uh, booked a suite on St. Pete Beach in Florida for the weekend. That is nice. awesome. We booked, um, I don't know, a trip to Home Depot, maybe. <laughs> yes. What are we doing this weekend? Uh, the plan is Blake wants to move into the other bedroom, so the plan is to clear out the other bedroom so we can move him into there. Although it's, it's not going to be a thing that's going to be done this weekend. We need to uh, redo the floor and paint in there and everything. That room, uh, if you guys have one too many bedrooms, you might do the same thing where it just kind of becomes a catch-all and there's just a bunch of junk in there. I think, uh, Dan, you worked out of there for a while, so I think some people saw it. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. the embarrassing room. It's bad. It's really bad. But we're going to we try to uh, pull everything out and do a big purge and uh Let's take all that because we have such good stuff in there. Let's just auction off all our stuff. <laughs> yeah, you think? Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Dr. Detroit Stream Stuff says, For this weekend, I'm watching the Indy 500 and the Coca-Cola 600 this, un this Sunday. Uh, as well as I will have that on as well. I was trying to put the tr truck series on, but I am blocked by Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals for Round 1 of the Vegas Golden Knights versus the Minnesota Wild. Go Vegas. So after that, I'll try to tune in to see if uh, Jimmy Spencer's winning or not. Hannah says that her... Uh dough was kind of crumbly. Well, it might be too late, but you could have added a little bit more butter just to be safe. You know, it's one of those things where your elevation, your butter that you're using, all that stuff can affect it. It is a pretty, like, wet and greasy dough, so it shouldn't really be crumbly. Um, but it should be okay. As long as you can spread it in there, it should be okay. Jess says, oh, we were supposed to go camping, but plans changed, so now we are going uh, next weekend. Yes. 
fun. Yeah, I get to edit videos of the going camping <laughs> to uh, a campsite. Campsite of none of your business. Yeah? It's, yeah, yeah, attention. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be cool. Dice said mine was crumbling too. Okay, okay. Huh. What can we do for that, Crystal? Can we spray it with a water gun? Yours looks moist. Mine is very moist. Huh, I don't know, guys. But we've had that problem before. So it's going to be crumbly because it's going to dry out. If you've already got it in your pan, maybe scoop it out and squish You know, you'll have oh, a, a little extra. Maybe. What is that face for? I don't you, know. Listen, listen to me. You'll have a little extra butter on the dough because there was butter on the bottom of your pan. So to try to save it now, if you want to, scoop it out, squish it together with your hands a little bit. Maybe add a little bit more butter if you have more softened butter. Um, I, I don't know that I would add water, but a little bit more butter and, and just squish it together by hand and then re-grease your pan and try it again. This is the part where I get really obsessive about making sure it's exactly right and I will sit here forever mashing my dough in to make it exactly perfect. You got it, dough. <laughs> yes, Marco, I said moist. I am not offended by the word moist. There are a lot of words that I do not like. Moist is not one of them. It's just a bad payoff. Like, the only good thing that's moist ever is cake. Cake. That's it. Everything else is not. Yeah, so, I don't want anything else to be moist, right. but I'm not offended by the word. Well, cake moistness should have a different word, like like cake buoyancy. <laughs> Hannah says, I'll see how it turns out. I ain't scared. I like the way you think, friend. Look, unless something is, like, fully burned, you're still going to eat it. Yes. And if not, the guys at work will eat it. That's that's what I have learned in my life. The yeah, Dans, the Blakes, the guys at work will it, all eat if it. If it gets too bad for me, then, then, yes. then it goes. I did throw away uh, chocolate crinkle cookies one time. I made them a little smaller than usual to try to have more of them for a party, but neglected to adjust my cooking time and they were super overcooked and crispy crunchy and they were not good at all okay i'm almost there i'm just obsessively making sure it's perfect steve t no i have not used my mixer yet steve t says that crust looks fab it is i think we're doing good so don't worry about it being pretty or anything it's going to be covered with lemon bars don't even worry about that i might be a little bit tall on my edges here but i think like i said better safe than sorry i'm gonna stick with it it doesn't have to be perfectly flat across the top again you're gonna eat them no matter what they don't have to be pretty we're not selling these we're just shoving them in our mouth uh, i probably have a few more minutes till the oven is preheated Yes, Dr. Detroit. Moist is a funny word because half the world laughs at it and the other half cringe and twitch. <laughs> what about the word egg membrane? <laughs> you know how I feel about that, Marco. <laughs> no, 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 no. Tristan says we live close to Bush Gardens. Huh, so, so it's crystal. What? What? So it's, well, where's it go? So it's fun to see the fireworks display on Friday and Saturday. Um, our entire town has been a fireworks display for the last month or so. So it's uh, been just as exciting and terrifying for the cats. Yeah. I'm just going to continue to mash this absentmindedly while so the oven easy. continues to preheat. Uh, Jordan with a super chat. This message is for Dan. I had sushi for dinner tonight. Crab Lagoon right. sushi and shrimp tempura. Oh, that sounds so good. Today when I was coming back from the failure of driving down to... The Whole Foods to get some sort of like bootleg, some overpriced lemons, <laughs> some bootleg ice cream. Yeah, but those or those lemons were growing. Those lemons were growing where people read bedtime stories to the lemons every night. <laughs> Probably in the a, land of beautiful people in a biodome. <laughs> but uh, I on the way down there and on the way back, I was mad that I drove an hour each way um, for the ice cream that didn't exist there, I told and you. I almost got sushi, but I couldn't do it without Blake. Aww. So I just didn't. Christine asked, but do you cook the crust without the filling? Good. Yes, we're going to cook this for 15 to 20 minutes without the filling, just until it's lightly browned. Then we put the filling in. We're going to make the filling while this is in the oven. So once it comes out, then we pour the filling in, and it cooks for another 20 to 25 minutes. We just want to kind of pre-cook it um, so that we don't have raw dough under our lemon filling. Yeah, you don't want that raw dough. Uh, to get together says hi Crystal and Dan how you guys doing we're doing good, good. it's a it's a three-day weekend for Crystal so she's super stoked yes. hey Crystal what are the chances that you're gonna wake up Monday morning <laughs> wait just end the sentence there because the chances are zero Monday right. morning no 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 I don't get up on Monday morning unless you pay me 
that's pretty much all that breaks down to. Yeah. What's yeah. your What's your sleeping record? Can you beat Blake's sleeping record where I thought he might have been dead in his room, so I asked <laughs> you to come home and check on him? Um. Yeah. I, I mean, did I not sleep 20 hours out of 24? Yeah, but that was, like, on drugs. No, that was on uh, vaccination. Uh, Cyber Husky says, take a large rubber band and put it around your pan at the level you want your crust to come up. Just remember to take it off before ba baking. That's a brilliant idea. Um, my crust is already done, so I'm, I don't even think I have a rubber band that big, but that is a really good idea to get that uh, evenness around the edges. So we're gonna stick this in for, I'm gonna start with 15. It's at 350 for 15 to 20 minutes. Start with 15, check it at 15. You just want it to be lightly brown. We're not gonna fully cook the whole thing. Um, if it does start to, like I usually peek in about five, 10 minutes in. If it starts to rise up in the middle, grab a fork and poke it a couple of times so the air that's underneath it can come out. Uh, Monday morning, Crystal will be woken up by cat butts or cat uh, pa patting her. No, no, no. Here's how Crystal wakes Alexa, up on her days off. A time she is definitely from hell. Minutes. Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. Because she sleeps in her room until, like, it gets really hot in that back room until it gets hot yes, enough. Our window faces the east, yeah. so the sun comes up right. and scorches. So me. until the, enough heat goes in there to like charge her battery and rise her up from her slumber. And then I get up angry because I'm and hot. She's mad. Yes. Everything's sweaty. Don't I mean, touch me. I pretty then, much wake up angry all the time anyway. I oh, would say it's, fifty percent of the days I wake up and the first thought in my head is like cursing. It's great. I hate waking up. It's like an eighty. It's like living with an eighty-year-old grouchy. It's like living <laughs> with Johnny Knoxville when he's dressed as that old man. Is that what it's like? What am I like in the morning? Oh, you just like turn on. And you're wide awake, and you're like, pay attention to me. And I'm like, no, I'm still waking up. Leave me alone. Oh, uh, you're the and worst. And you want to snuggle. You always want to snuggle, even if it's a hundred degrees in there. You're like one of those crappy cars that like you have to like it won't start on its own, so you have to push it down the street and then pop the clutch and then you get going. You know. I have to shower. I am not awake and ungrumpy until I shower. You should just pretty sleep much sleep in the shower. <laughs> like it's a coffin. I like the way you think. Yeah, Topo has been. <laughs> yes, yes he has. Topo discovered that um, he could either lay in the cat tree where it's a uh, fuzzy, or he can lay in the cat tree that's in the sink. <laughs> and it's bigger, and it fits his right, whole body. Right, and it fits his whole body. So that's where he's been. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Uh, Uncle Yukon suggests using easy-to-remove blue painting tape strip around the pan. Yes, you could do that as well. If, if you guys want to make sure you have a nice, even layer, if you want to make sure they're beautiful and perfect, absolutely. Rubber band, tape around the edges. That will definitely help you get a nice, even layer. Go to paint a dream and paint a line on there. <laughs> Can you bring your own dreams, or do you have to buy the ones that are there to paint? Can I, can I bring my own? No, you yeah. can't. You can't. Uh, Marco says snuggling in a warm atmosphere is the worst. It really, you know, you live out here, Amanda and Chris. I bet you feel the pain too. One, at least one of you feels the pain because one. Someone's a warm snuggler. Yeah, Who's the warm snuggler in the chat? Yeah, there's never a relationship where both people are like, "Yay, let's snuggle all the time," and I don't care if it's hot. Like one person is always just like, "Oh, this is miserable." Always. All right. So if you guys have your crust in the oven, like I said, 15 minutes and we'll check it. We'll check it about five to ten minutes make sure it's not raising up um take your lemon so i had to instruct dan to get me lemons and he's like i'll send pictures that doesn't help when you're going to zest a lemon and this one is less ideal yeah. no <laughs> no i'm demonstrating here i'm gonna see because i don't know if you can see it on camera at all um, sometimes lemons are really, really smooth and slippery on the outside. This one is that way, where they sort of look the same. This one has more texture to it. So this is going to grate more easily. Hang out a minute, Steve. Oh. <laughs> that was a left-handed throw. What do you want? I'm right-handed. <laughs> um, it, still, it still thinks Chris is very good. That's pretty textury. That's as textured as I can show you. That's guys. the smooth one, though. So if you're looking for a lemon for the express purpose of zesting it, you want to find one that feels a little bit rougher, a little less slippery, and it's going to grate better. If it's too soft and slippery, it's just going to slide on your grater and not do a whole lot for you, and you're going to get frustrated. That was lemon head. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Yes, Marco, the bad thing is you're the one to tell your partner you don't want to snuggle. Makes you look like the bad guy. Yep. Oh, and then you wake up to your partner being grumpy. What? Uh, and there's, 
Hey, what? What, what do we do? There's a f- big old fly flying I know, it's around. Me nuts. Where's our oh. barn cat? We have a barn cat. <laughs> Where's he at? Oh, this one's still not green very well. I'm sorry, it's something like, like I said, like, oh, they were all like ready for other things. I don't think they wanted to be great, but I, I couldn't bring myself not to buy a, a thing and walk out of Since that you place. Went all the way down there? It was an hour on, on like white knuckling on the freeway where I went speeds over the limit. Don't tell nobody. Did you really? Over you the limit. You can't afford a speeding ticket. I pushed it to the limit. All right, let me go find the barn cat. So the main camera is off center now. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Not sorry. Um, we've talked before about zesting lemons. What did we make? We made something with lemons and talked about it. Um, that there are lemon zesting tools. I actually have one and I absolutely hate it. It does not zest well at all. I stick with my fine grating cheese grater and that seems to work pretty well for me. Uh, The lemon zest has way more fragrance and way more flavor than using lemon juice. So most lemon recipes will use like half tablespoon, tablespoon, teaspoon. What's this one? This one's a teaspoon. Um, They will throw some some lemon zest in there to up that flavor because as you start to grate it, you can smell so much more lemony than if you just slice it open and squeeze the juice out of it. <laughs> Dr. Dre, well, that camera just got zested. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. He's so sleepy. He's purring now. This is the best Topo ever is. Yeah. Yeah, like right when he wakes up. Oh, he's all purring and stretching. He was in the sink and he's all wet on this side. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Topo, there's a fly in here. Can you get it, please? It could be in the window. Do you remember when we had Goku for that brief... Oh, I see the fly. It's it's on as soon as he sees it. Do you remember when we had that Goku for a period and I could, like, throw him up in the air at the fly and he'd whack at it and I'd catch him? And yes. It was the best. All right. This guy's still half asleep and, boy, is he big. But when the fly's doing laps right here, they have, like, circuits. I watch them go on circuits. Yes. Oh, there it is. Come on. Come on. He's like a gun. I just got to get him locked on the target. <laughs> just aim him in the right direction. Eventually you'll see it. Okay, so we need a teaspoon of the lemon rind. <laughs> He's still purring. You're such a good cat, Topo. He's learning to be snuggly, but not really. He was rubbing all over me when I was trying to get ready. He that's was happy. Be- that's because we've learned that when you leave and come home, we got to be happy on both sides. Yeah. Oh, you don't even know the fights we get into sometimes. Alright, you stretch for a minute. Like, he's still out of it. Alright, sorry, I mean to hijack your show. Yeah, you did. Alright, so I'm gonna set that aside and let's get to our filling. Okay, let's see. We're gonna beat the eggs first. So, and this, the recipe says beat it with a whisk. We're, we're, we're whisking in the mixer. In order to get them light and airy, you really want to do this in your mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, a hand mixer will work. If you um, hate your arms, you can do it by hand. Well, I see it. It's above the Green Day action figures by the damn we cup. Oh, don't let him see it. Come on, over here, dude. Here. Zest the smell that way. Can you, like... <laughs> zest the smell? Yeah, like... So it Do you know what the word zest means? Yeah, it means when you, like, deflush something. <laughs> sort of. What you doing? When I went to Whole Foods, because, you know, it's bougie Santa Clarita, I parked next to three Teslas. Of course you did. And then there's my Jeep. I mentioned it before, but in case you guys have missed it, the best way to get shell out of your eggs once you crack them is to use more of the shell. It'll cut right through the, the yolk and the white to dig that out for you. Or get your fingers a little bit wet. If you just try to poke your fingers in there, it's not going to work very well. So get your fingers a little bit wet and you can reach in and grab it. All right, membranes are extracted. All right, my job is done. <laughs> Did you find it? Um, he, he knows that it exists now. It's over here. It's right here. He knows that it exists. 
Oh, this will be fun while we're trying to do a live show. All right, hit record, everybody. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to whip this up until it is airy, whatever that means. Yeah, oh, he almost got it. He whacked it. It came too close. Why would you go fly in front of him? Oh, he whacked at it. He's, gonna, he's earning his dinner. Dude, there's extra fish heads in it for you tonight, Topo. If you guys are baking your crust, peek in on it now and see if it's raising up. And if it is, just grab a fork and poke some holes in it. Um, just real gently, just straight down at it. It'll be enough to allow that air to come out and flatten your crust out. In the kitchen over here, so it's not in there. Oh, he's, he's, he's doing that bird thing where he's flacking at it. <laughs> Can you see him? Am I in the way? Oh, uh, you're good. You're good. You're clear. By the way, you look way better than you can. Yeah. We're not airing yet. All right, so the next step is gonna be to add the sugar, lemon peel, juice, flour, and baking powder. So while that mixes up, I'm gonna measure out my lemon juice. I'm so glad the flies are around because Coco's been so bored lately. Yeah. He can catch a little bugs on the ground, but like he needs a win too. Like, and he's trying to climb the he's trying to climb the screen door, but his butt his like lower half can't go up high. So. He tried to jump up on the counter while I was making lunch today and had the same problem. He just can't his front end is not strong enough to lift his back end up. So we're doing six tablespoons of lemon juice. We've got our teaspoon of lemon rind. We're doing half a cup of flour, two cups of sugar. Mooch settled in. He knows what's happening. Marco says, imagine Dan swatting the fly and it lands on Crystal stove. World War Three. I will say my batting average of what could go wrong on any of the times Blake and I are messing around in the kitchen is 100%. Yes. Absolutely. There was the Matrix moment with the chicken burgers that hit you in the head. Then I, and then Blake threw something at me and it deflected into your food. Into the sauce. Into the sauce. Like, I'm, I'm a, yeah, so, so absolutely that would happen. So I will not. You are pretty good at catching the bugs right out of the air, though. Yeah. You do have some uh, Daniel Son skill with that. Yeah, you know, it's in my DNA. Nanda says, Bigler kids, say bye. Save us some lemon bars. I will, friend. We can almost hang out soon. We should make some plans. Okay, so this is getting airy. You guys can see it's got, like, bubbles. It's just bubbly. I'm trying the... the videos like way behind so I shut it off and I'm like can you see that on the camera and then I just have to stand here and wait but you can see it's like foamy so that's good to go um we're gonna gradually add start with the sugar which is two cups of sugar sorry I'm doing the microphone trying to get flying <laughs> sorry I'll turn my mic off why would you do that Yes, Ugly Yukon. Kitchen is now off grounds for horseplay. Um, it always has been. That's never stopped, Dan. Could it be another animal? What do you think of this big old monitor? It is ginormous. Okay, so I'm adding one cup first. I'm going to mix that in. And then we'll mix in a second cup of sugar. Yeah, I'm just waiting for it to end badly. Yeah, he's uh, he's gear he's gearing up. <laughs> oh. That's what you want to see in the back of a cooking show, right? It's a big baking show. Different. <laughs> yeah, so much. Hey, different. we need to watch Baking Murder Guesser. 
Yes, Crime Scene Kitchen. Yes, that did anybody watch night, it? So it should be on Hulu tonight. Yeah, let us know if you watch Crime Scene Kitchen. Okay, so we added the sugar. Now we're going to add the lemon zest. <laughs> Dude, the flies here on my desk, cat. And the lemon juice. This is even more, like, this is backfiring. <laughs> sorry, sorry, AJ, if you're watching. Oh, oh no, he's... <laughs> Smashed his finger. Oh. Well, I hope you're okay, AJ. At least you don't have to Aww. watch Topo. <laughs> At least you don't have to do that. Okay, so then we're doing half a cup of flour. Oh my gosh. And a teaspoon of baking powder. I really like the shape of these. Me too. For like this stuff. And they're fun looking. They are. They look really super like fun. Them. It makes me want to like measure stuff. I wanted to use them when I was doing uh, the Waffle Wednesday, but I knew better not to use your stuff because because one time you had this coat hanger that was just a, a mashed up coat hanger. And I was like, well, I don't know why you own this. And I started bending it around. And it was bent into the shape of a turtle. Yeah. You got to it. But I was too like Neanderthalic to like know to like know what it was so i'm like i don't know what this is but like i fiddled with it all day long oh dan how did you not kick oh my gosh how did you not kick me out how do you guys not tell me my microphone's like insanely loud there we go oh my gosh sorry oh. all right so you just want to mix this until it is well blended just kind of scrape the sides if you need to while that finishes up, I'm gonna check my crust because it's been in for 15 minutes. 'Cause I'm always using yes. that fun one is because it, it's like a pressure washer in the sink. It is, but the problem is then it sprays water everywhere. I know, but it, I, I look forward to caked on food because it's really fun. I'll be sure to leave caked on food when you need to do the dishes. Yeah, I know you won't. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> you twitch. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna give that a couple more minutes because it's not quite browned yet. Topo's not really moved much, has he? He's down on the ground right there by the towel. Which the towel's super cool. Why don't you show us the towel? Oh, the towel from the uh, Hustle Tales, right? I think I showed you guys this, but um, very applicable for our kitchen. I can't think of a more appropriate design for our kitchen. This is why we don't have plants in the house. As many plants as I do have outside, not a single one in the house because this is exactly what happens. Like the minute, if I go and buy plants and I come in and I set them on the counter, the minute they get set down, a cat comes and tries to eat them and knock them down. Would you like a drink, Dan? No, thanks. Yeah. Fine. Guess I'm drinking alone. No, I have a beer. I got a beer today because it's going to be a long weekend and I don't want to have to go outside because, as Jess says, all the city are out. <laughs> so I uh, I was like, oh, okay, well, I don't want to be around the city, it's even though I am one. You are. Um, so I got everything I needed for the weekend. And that's it. Nice. Yeah. Except buns to go with the burgers. 
Oh, yes. And I know the rules. The Beastie Boys taught me. What did they teach you? I, from the bun to the burger to the burger with the bun. You gotta have that with the burger. I got two free burgers today. You did? How did, we, how did that happen? Um, there's an app called Ibotta that gives you rebates on certain things you buy if you scan your receipt, but you have to go into the app first and like select the items. And I happened to see that there was a $5.50 rebate on Beyond Burgers, which was to make them free at certain places. And they actually ended up being on sale for like $3.99. So when Dan bought them, I was able to make money on that purchase. Yeah. All right, so. Oh, hold on, but no, I can't go back. Okay. It's not super brown, but it's not raw. So that's about where you want it. It's still gonna be pretty light. It's not like cooked like a cookie brown or anything. It's warm. Um, it's not raw, but it's still a little bit mushy. It's not completely cooked, but that's how you want it. I don't know what's going on with him back there anyway. <laughs> Who knows? Just pour your filling in like so. What's going on in the chat? Um, just got these crazy trike bikes. Did you see those things? I did see those We should things. get some of those. They look uh, kind of fun. It's like my kind of fun. Something out of Mad Max. <laughs> a little bit, huh? Yeah. Okay, so you can see I did go a little bit high with the crust. I could have gone like maybe half an inch lower most of the way around, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. The middle's the best part anyway. I leave the crust parts for Dan. So this goes right back into the 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes until it no longer jiggles and a toothpick comes out clean. We're gonna start with 20 minutes because you don't want to overcook it or it pretty much turns into a cake. It's super hard to put super liquidy things in the oven across the room. How come, look, what if we, can we modify our stove since we're in the kitchen all the time? Can we like what what idea do you have Dan? like okay so hear me out what you got do you remember like when we had this apartment and we had a washer and a dryer that that lived above each other this like stacked yes. right and you've always wanted like multiple ovens or whatever is there like a modification where like look at all that empty space between the burners and the top of uh, there it's so this, stupid this stove would not work for that but we would get a new and thing no what you'd have to do is you have to have a stove top somewhere else can we put a stove and then on you top do of it? two ovens like yeah. stack there's there's like a specific cupboard in this set which i know because i've been researching this entire set of cupboards um you get a specific cupboard that has the space for the stackable ovens. Let's get let's get stackable ovens. No, we just have a kitchen. Could, I'm not I'm not redoing we it. We could have the great bake bake off and we could race our food. You know how cool it'd be to race cook our, food? our pizzas in our own ovens at the same time and not have to wait. We do that anyway. I fit them all on the big pizza pan because I got skills like that. I need to make juice because I don't even think we have any juice. When are we gonna bake shrinky dinks on the show? Can we? <laughs> That's not edible, Dan. Can we make shrinky dinks and put them in the oven? Is that is that something we could you do can in one of the weeks? On your show, Dan. Wednesday nights you can do whatever you want. Friday nights we're making dessert. All right, it'd be a lot cooler if there were shrinky dinks. Can you even get them anymore? Somebody sent me you strawberry can. shortcake shrinky dinks and GI Joe <laughs> shrinky dinks. <laughs> We got Shrinky Dinks when Blake was little. We got little robot ones. I think he still has them. Pretty sure. I want to make some Like, we made them already. Right. Now I want to... Oh. Um, you want to so go on this side and entertain so I can fill this up? Because it's going to take, like, three minutes. Sh shrunky Dunks. Oh, I don't need you. Okay, oh, I got my own. Well, even better. I got my own thing. Oh, why do I look like... Why do I look like a bad Justin Bieber? That's Here, how you look? If you give me a marker... If you give me a marker, I can fix that. Hi, everybody! Oh, my gosh. Why'd your voice crack? Oh, because <laughs> it's... When it's time to change, <laughs> then it's time to change. Oh my gosh, I went to the, I went to the store today and struck out and, and drove all the way back home. And uh, while I, while I was at the the Al Albertsons, Albertsons, I was like, I'm gonna get some beer. And oh, um, I didn't realize how expensive it is. I don't know if it's just there or Albertsons it's is very expensive. Is it? Is that why? Yes. Yeah, so I don't know. I think they priced me out of that store. Yes. I think, I think they priced me That's out of That's the second time you've gone there and not taken the 20% off coupon, by the way. Oh, uh, do we really have it? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Topo, I... no. 
Did you get a new monitor? I did. Oh my gosh. If, if you guys want to know the story of the monitor, I did vlog it. Um, I was hey. trying to... Oh, shit. I was no, trying to... Oh, whoa, oh, oh, the other things are happening. No. Ugh. He's mad. The fly was circling around the counter. You should have just let him go. No, yeah, and have catastrophic events. I'm not sacrificing my, my vodka for My mic sounds off. Is that better? Fly. Okay. So... I was, I was, is that better? Because it shows that my mic's like pegging out. So I, I have the arm that the computer, or the monitor's on, and it's hooked to my desk. And I try to move it over a little bit so I could put some wires through it. And then it just turned and fell. And I had it with like my hand like this. So it just like rolled my hand over. And it bumped on the power supply of of the mixer no because i had everything pulled off the desk and that's where you see that like bullet hole like Wii controller mark and then i cried you did cry and now and now and now back to your regular baking stream programming we're just making juice <laughs> so that sucks so yes yeah, so i went and got a monitor it's a bigger monitor i'm not sure if i like it yet um i'm waiting for the brackets to come for the stand. Long story on that. But yeah. Yeah, I uh I, I broke the monitor. I was super sad. What else you got? I was hoping it we would go to commercial after that sadness. Like that would <laughs> that would take us to commercial. To commercial, huh? Yeah. Oh. Alexa, set an eighteen minute timer. Gotta remind me to set the timer. I need, I need to get another timer because I don't remember to set the timer there. If it's visually on the counter, I will remember to set the timer. All right. Well, I know you don't want a timer. You, you, you know what? You're welcome because you like that's what makes you feel better. You it does make me feel better. Uh, that's what makes you feel better. If, I feel like I just forget to set the feel, timer more. Feel, often. feel better, then do that, and then just like get one. I will. I'm gonna after the show. I'm buying a new timer, guys. Um, Topo's doing things. He's gonna break your monitor. He's trying really hard. You have to do something. I'm just trying to catch the items. Uh, Marco wants to know if you can still use the broken monitor. No. No. Just no. This? Yes. No, it's broken. And it's a curved monitor, too, so it's not like you're just ordering another LCD screen for it. Are you not holding it from the bottom? I had it by its neck. Okay. Okay. I'm fixing cameras. How's your happy weekend drink? It's good stuff. It's happy. Well, the topo is down here trying to break the monitor. There's the monitor. He is, it's moving, I can see it moving. I know. I have 15 days to return it if I don't like it. I have to wait for the brackets to come, so next week it'll be back on the mount. But for now, it's on the TV tray down here because- Shake it uh, again. What are you doing? Whoa, bro. We had this conversation. I, I don't know what to do. Um, I know what to do in film. Praise the cameraman. Praise the cameraman. No. Oh, he's so bad. So then you leave these, like, lemon corpse in the fridge. What do we do with the oh, lemon Oh, I now? forgot to juice the other one. Um, I should just squeeze the juice out now before I forget. That's exactly what I should be doing. And then I can freeze it. And then I will have more lemon juice. So how long do we wait for the next step? Um, that's it. The steps are over. Oh, when it comes out, you put um, sprinkling powdered sugar on the top. But that's it. Lemon bars are pretty easy to make. Nice. And then... No and then. I guess we're just hanging out now. Uh oh. So, who out there has seen our post about paint night? And who's going to paint along with us? I did see somebody posted. Apparently, they don't uh, ship internationally. So, our international friends won't be able to paint that along with us. Oh, there's got to be a way. Can we get it? Well, cause... Okay, let me tell you guys my trick that I do when I find something I want to paint and it's not a kit. And I want to... I did a, a flower painting for a friend. I don't know if you remember. Uh, she's having a kid. And I found the design of her invitations, and I wanted to paint that, but I'm really bad at freehand painting, so I had to make stencils out of it. So what I do is I bring the picture up on the monitor, 
and put it to the size that I want to paint it. Just like zoom in on it, um, which is control plus will zoom in or control minus will zoom out for you um, to make it the size that you want it. Put a piece of like blank printer paper on top of your monitor. This helps if you have a laptop so you can kind of lay it flat um, or a tablet or something where you can lay it flat and just trace the design. And then if you can get carbon paper, that's what the kits use. The kits use carbon paper. So the design is drawn out on a piece of paper and you put a carbon paper onto your canvas and then you trace over the design and it transfers the design to your canvas. Sit. So yes, how to pirate a painting by Crystal, absolutely. Like I'm just not good at free handing. So like as much as I want you guys to support social artworking and I love it and buy the kits, they're super cheap anyway, it's like 10 bucks shipped. Uh, we ordered two designs and paid 16 bucks. So it's super cheap and reasonable. You can reuse the carbon paper over and over and over. Um, like a bunch of times. I have a bunch that I haven't even opened yet because I've reused the ones that I have. Um, as much as I want to support them, if you can't purchase it so you can't paint along, that sucks. So I posted the picture of the design or you can see the picture on their website. See what you can do. Just, you know, tips. Also, see what you can do. Paint something over nothing, please. Like, yeah, or paint something else, whatever. Every time I've hosted a paint party at my house, all my friends post different th or paint different things. We order different kits and stuff, but we all paint different things. So paint whatever. Uh, Hannah plans on painting along. Brittany says, I want to paint. My last weekend adventure would paint, but I'm broke. Lame. Um, do you have some paper or something? Like, do something. Do something. You can work it out cheap. Um, when um, we're at the dollar store, do we see canvases? They do have there? canvases sometimes at dollar stores. I have also purchased canvases with like awful paintings at thrift stores and just paint over it. Um, you don't have to buy. So I use the stuff, the paint from Michaels, the acrylic paint. Um, Michaels and Joanne, you can find it either the basic brand or the artist loft brand. Um, basic is more opaque. So if you guys are purchasing paint for this, the basic brand tends to be more opaque, but the artist loft sometimes has different kinds of colors. They had a lot of uh, metallic co colors that I purchased that you can't find in the basic brand. Other than that, like the basic colors, the, the like primary colors and stuff, the most common colors, they're gonna have the same shades and stuff. So I would say go with basic brand over the other ones. Also, you have a month. Check the sales, check the coupons, do not pay full price for paint. Absolutely go when it's half off or buy one, get one free, or you have um, in the Michaels app, you can get coupons on there. So you can get uh, half off your whole purchase or something, like check and see what you can get. If not, if that's out of your price range, no big deal. Go to Walmart and get the little craft paints. Those work just as well. Um, a huge variety of colors. Those will work. Um, they're a little bit thinner, but you can make it work. No worries at all. What about brushes? Do you have brush recommendations? Um, don't go super cheap, but you don't have to. You don't have to go and buy like individual brushes that are ten dollars each. You're not a professional. It's not. It's not something you're going to notice a huge difference on. I actually. Hold on, get entertained with the cats. I'll show you guys Man, the I, I threw like three snacks. One bounces off a of Topo's butt and goes down the grate by the Cheerio. The other one bounces off his butt and is now in the water dish. The other one bounced off his butt and went under the stove. I am failing. I am failing miserably on the cat snacks because I have to throw them so far away so the other cats can get them. Mitch. Mitch. This one right here, come on. Wake up, Mooch, you right there? Pay attention. It's the cats, we're just watching the cats. Yeah. Cats have bouncy butts, I know, but I'm like bank shotting them all into the bad places. Dan, the real Tiger King. Oh my <laughs> gosh, Marco. Your hair is a little Tiger King-ish when it's bleached. Okay, so here's some recommendations. First of all, for brushes, I think these are like less than 10 bucks at, at uh, Michaels. This kit is perfect. Um, look around and see. They have a few different varieties. This one is just brown synthetic brushes. I don't know. I've always used these. They work really well for me. Just get one of these kits. It has a little bit of everything. That should help. I think some are missing out of here right now. But there's 10 pieces in here. That should cover everything you need. So I recommend getting that. For what you put your paint on, my best recommendation is just styrofoam plates. I get little hefty brand styrofoam plates because you could just throw them away when you're done. 
You don't have to wash off the paint. I have like plastic paint palettes. I do not like using those. I just use plastic plates. Um, it dries on there and you can reuse it. That, that's my recommendation. They're like a buck or two at Walmart. Um, I think this is it. Yeah, oil and acrylic varnish, a spray for when you're done. Once your painting is completely done, take it outside. Please take it outside and do this. Go stand over your lawn, uh, like a foot away, I think. I haven't sprayed a painting in forever. Uh, follow the directions. But it's like a can of spray paint, but it's a, a final varnish, like a sealant. Spray this over it. That way, if anything like drips on it or anything like that, it won't screw up your painting at all. So I highly recommend getting that as well. We should spray this. Um, Hannah, let me know if you did it already, but if not, we should spray this on your canvas from Hannah. And I don't remember who painted your other one. We should we do should, that as well. Don't do it when it's windy. Uh, yeah, don't do it when it's windy because it will just blow all over yeah, you. Make sure you spray don't do it downwind. When it's windy. Um, right. But those are my three basic recommendations for painting. Right. Uh, can you put a link or info in the group about the spray finish? Yes, I'll make another post with some recommendations for the painting for you guys. Again, not a professional. These are just the things that I found that work for me. Um, my last week of adventure says, what's the juice drink that you made? Um, the the picture that I made is just some um, great value strawberry orange banana powder drink. It's like sugar free add it to water and it makes a whole pitcher of juice. And then I added it to some vodka and ice. Hannah says she did not uh, spray it. So yeah, we'll spray that one. Yeah, it's just gonna make it uh, hold together a little bit better, uh, last a little bit longer. Acrylic paint is like 50 cents a bottle at Walmart. Yes, yeah, super cheap. You can get a huge range of colors there. Um, Charlotte says, I do that from the Goodwill. Just get canvases and paint over them. Yeah, um, my recommendation is to get, um, white will work, but a cream color works best as a base um, that will kind of be opaque enough to block out whatever's already on there and then be a good um, base coat for whatever you're gonna paint. You better watch out. Uh, Christine has no artistic ability at all. People who me have too. ability too, do not too. understand how and bad I'm doing I am. It. Um, Dan's doing it. Look, my mom has no artistic ability at all. She did one of these paint kits and nailed it. Like, she proudly hangs that in her house. It's, like, down the hallway. But it is hung in her house, and she painted that. Do not throw snacks at me, please. If it gets in my drink, we're fighting. I think it went in the water again. <laughs> Dai says, my lemon bars are starting to smell good. Dai, also join the RFS fam. Thank you Woot. so much for becoming a member. Oh uh, Nana wants to know, wait, we're drinking? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you have three kids? Shouldn't you already be drinking? It's Friday night, friend. <laughs> Die, you get to go see the members' first vlogs, and there'll be a new one this Sunday. We're yeah. Before we started, her sink showed up. We ordered, on Wednesday, we ordered everything. We committed, we ordered all the cabinets, we ordered the sink, we ordered the faucet, we ordered the new dishwasher. So everything will be at her house by the 9th. She got her faucet and her sink today, but can't do anything with them. Um, on the 14th, the guys are supposed to come to start doing the demo. They said demo should take one day, uh, installation should take two days. So in theory, by the 16th, in theory, it should be done. In theory. But I'm gonna go over and help her clear everything out because we went through it last year. When you remodel a room, especially your kitchen, you don't realize how much stuff you have in your kitchen. If you guys have moved recently, you probably understand the struggle, but you think like, there's not that much in my kitchen. There's that much in your kitchen. So we need to like pack up everything out of her kitchen. We need to set up a little station for her with a microwave so she has a place to make food. And right. then it's gonna be chaos. She's really stressing about the chaos in her house. And yeah. it hasn't even started yet. Right, you know, like she'll be okay. Cause if you could, if you could get through it, then she could get through it. Cause we are just. That's what I told her. I told her we had way less house left than you. Plus, her kitchen, it's not open like this. She just has a doorway to go into the kitchen, so it'll be all like blocked off. She could sit in her living room and enjoy her life. This and... complete kitchen was blocked off. Yes. And then we still did this the game. This whole like half of the house was blocked off. And then we did the game show. Yes. Like, we, next to the washer and dryer? No, that's when we started doing it over Did there. we start doing we it over there? We were doing it here, and then we moved over to your desk corner. Um, right. Because we couldn't go anywhere else. Right, right. Yeah, uh, so Patty will be okay. It seems to be buffering. Refresh, guys. It, yeah, it I don't buffering. know. You probably can't even hear me say that. But um, if ever it starts buffering or having any okay. issues, just uh, refresh the stream. It, it, it was okay here. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany I mean, says, I paint by number. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay uh, with that. Look, that's kind of what this is. Let me show you guys. I think I showed you a little bit when we did the live stream, but in case you didn't see that. Let me see if I can pull one of these kits out. So I have a whole bunch of these kits, because like I said, I've done paint parties with my friends. 
Um, and I just have everybody pick a painting that they want to do. And I go buy a stack of canvases and buy all the kits everybody wants to do. And we just sit around and uh, paint and drink. So this is what you get. It's pretty much like a paint by number. You get, the one we're doing is going to be 12 by 12. This one I think is 16 by 20. So you get this drawing. This is your, your stencil basically. So I don't know if you can see, we've used this. You don't use a pen or anything that's gonna cut the, can the stencil. You just use like um, the back end of a pen or something that's, that's like blunt. And you put this over your canvas with a piece of the carbon paper underneath it. And you can get carbon paper, you can make your own drawings. Once I started doing these kits, I was like, hell yeah, I can paint anything I want. Just do a drawing and then transfer it over to the canvas. So once you do that part of things, and I do recommend taping it down because it will slide around, so tape the edges. This is what you get in the kit. You get that drawing, and it's like five, six bucks for a kit. You get the, the drawing, the transfer paper, and this little packet. The front page will be your actual, um, like what your finished product is gonna look like. By the way, if you want a smaller canvas, you can also use this, which this one has been used to draw onto a smaller canvas. You can trace the image as well. And then it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. Like, okay, you're here, you've traced the image. Then you wanna paint your oh orange my God. and your yellow. No, it's, then this is where I get lost and I get frustrated. Step one, trace. Step two, artist. It's not that hard. Look at it, there's 50 steps happened there. No, you just blend your, it tells you which brush to use. You don't necessarily have to follow it exactly. I don't always, uh, a little artistic liberties can be taken, but it tells you, use your three quarter inch flat brush and deep yellow to paint circular shape starting in the center and working outward in large circular brush strokes. While paint is wet, use same brush and chrome orange to paint inside perimeter, perimeter of circular shape, blending inward to create a gradient. Refer to photo. Right? That's easy. That's a lot. I need a YouTube video. Right. I'm excited. I'm going to do it too. So it shows you step by step what you need to do. It's super easy and all kinds of, it comes with a, painting techniques so there's inst uh, instructions that match up to the different types of painting so when it tells you to contour it shows you what contour means blending it shows you what that means different brushes um, how to load up your brush all kinds of stuff so I highly recommend these guys you know I talked about this last week or whenever we did the live thing uh, Cynthia says when you drink you talk much faster absolutely yeah, yes you do absolutely you're more relaxed I am it also helps that I'm not thinking anymore because I'm not baking uh, Brittany says a step one tray step two a cry in the corner <laughs> but like yeah, I said make sure you tune in so you can see Dan cry in the yeah, corner yeah I'm gonna try to I have all my webcam I'll, I'll, we'll have like in, like we'll have cameras set up on the canvases so you guys will not be able to you will not miss a stroke I promise no strokes will be missed here Nancy says, moved three times in two years, had to get rid of stuff. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get my mom to consolidate some of her kitchen stuff. I'll just be like, what's that over there? And then whoosh. She, you know, we helped our friend pack up her kitchen to move a few weeks ago. And my mom in doing that was like, I need to get rid of stuff in my kitchen. Like just seeing how much stuff is in kitchen cupboards made her realize she needs to get rid of some of her stuff. Yeah, maybe like new kitchen, new stuff. Maybe. We've gotten her a lot of new kitchen stuff over the last few years. My brother yeah. and I have been buying her lots of uh, new pots and pans, new silverware, new utensils for cooking. She's got a lot of new stuff. So I told her, like, anything, everything needs to be put away. My mom loves just, like, piling stuff up everywhere. So we're making sure everything has a home. We're not having crap everywhere. We're going to do this. We're going to make her have, like, magazine-style kitchen. I am on this. Uh, Dr. Detroit says, I love painting Bob Ross style. It's okay to make happy accidents. Absolutely. Absolutely. My last week adventure, if you can make a stick figure, you're an artist. Absolutely. There's a painting hanging on the wall where Dan made a stick figure. Hannah ordered one of the Northern Lights ones, and it was heckin' hard, was it? I'm I excited. I, I'm, I'm really intimidated. I'm really scared, and I'm really super worried that I'm going to screw it up. But I'm going to have so much fun trying to do it. Like, right. I'm just going to do I it. I will say that, for me, I'm good at painting. I'm not good at drawing, but if there's a, like, stencil on there, I'm really good at painting techniques as far as, like, blending and shading and stuff like that. I do not have any... Um, when I do the paint parties with friends, I see, like, some people do not have that ability. They're just like, you know... Alexa, stop. Um, like... When you'd color when you were little and you would push real hard with the crayon, crayon on the outline and then like lightly shade it in. But look, if you make it, it doesn't matter. How many paint party pictures have you seen where all the paintings look amazing? 
they're varying levels of skill and success, but they all look amazing. You overly critique what you paint. You will always look. I've never finished my elephants because I want it to be absolutely perfect. You will always overly I, critique whatever you paint. I am with me. I re, I'm going to represent the newbies and the people that are afraid to do this. And I'm yes. going to have a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, we might have to get some wine. Okay, I am no longer jiggling, so, so I'm going to pull this out. We'll get some yeah, wine. Hannah, Hannah, definitely drinking. Hannah said, uh, Hannah said, check the lemon bar. still runny inside, but a crust formed on top, question mark. Yes, it will make a crust on top. But runny's okay? Um, you don't want it to jiggle, so let me, let me come over here and see if I can show you guys. Where are we? I'm going to just put it where you need to do and I'll move it. Ooh, it does look like it might be a little bit cakey. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good card. Okay, so it's not jiggling anymore. It's definitely going to be crusty. You're going to put powdered sugar on top. Powdered sugar kind of soaks into it, so it's not going to stay crusty. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, you just want to watch. If you can see here how it's got, like, popped bubbles in it, like little holes. Um, once it starts doing that, it needs to come out and you're done, as long as it's not jiggling. Do you think you overdid it a tiny bit? I think this is maybe a little overdone. I'm really hoping it's not cakey, but there's no way to tell until after it's refrigerated and you cut into it. And you've done the same thing every time. That's mm -hmm. the thing. That's the thing. We, we do the same thing every time. Yes. We've made a lot of these. Jess says, I saw the one called Arctic Run, and I really debated on getting it, but I have zero art talent. I'm telling you, my mom has never painted a picture before. She did the one that is... Uh, it's like a solid gray background with branches and then birds sitting on it. And it looks amazing. She did a really good job. I've had probably close to a dozen different people that I've done paint parties with and everybody's stuff turns out great. Even if they're not the greatest at like blending color or any of that, you're still proud of it and you painted it and you hang it on your wall. There was one, Nanda made one once that she didn't even take home with her. It's still sitting over there. She's like, I don't even want this in my house. No, oh, it's here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, It's Nanda. here. She's sad about um, it. Uh, it'll be fun. Do it because it can't be worse than me. It's like me on Dantix. But like I said, I'm excited and I still need to like figure out how we're going to set everything up. And yes. I, I want like split screen of both of our canvases. Yeah, so you can asses. see. And everybody's going to okay. compare the two of them. Yeah, uh, Nanda great. says, you're great with color. I'm the crayon masher. Oh, you, you've done good. I don't, I can't remember. You painted the, the flower. The amaryllis flower, I think. I think that's it. All right, let's put some powdered sugar on here. You want to do it while it's still warm? Um, oh, shoot. Hang on, because I used this for the lemon juice. Paint it like one of your French cats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hannah says, it's not jiggly, but toothpick doesn't come out clean. As long as it's not jiggly, I think you're good. I, uh, I don't know. Jess says, I'm good at those giant posters you color with markers. I love those. I absolutely love those. Jason and I always do those. I've never done one of those before. But. Anna says, yes, we have matching, not matching flowers. Yeah, that's the amazing thing with this kit, too. If you don't like the color scheme on it, make your own color scheme. You can make the background a different color. You can make the flowers a different color. Um, Nana and I both painted the same flower, but in two completely different color schemes. Uh, two of my other friends and I did one once where we painted a sunflower, and they did different color backgrounds. So it's easy to kind of customize it so it matches your house. All right, so when I do the powdered sugar, I use just a mesh strainer. If you have a flour sifter, you can use that too because that's got mesh. Um, you really want to sprinkle it finely. You don't want to just take a spoon. If that's the only thing you have, go for it, but it might get a little bit thick in there. And just kind of keep it moving as you Sprinkle it over there, tap it to get it to come out. Some air is still blowing because it's going that way. All 
I like a pretty good layer. You can do it uh, real light if you want to. I like a pretty good layer so that I can watch Dan choke when he uh, forgets that he's not supposed to breathe in when he eats them. You know, I was still stoked the first time, and then like I'm like, what is this cruelty? <laughs> you still do it every time. In every batch of lemon bars, Dan and Blake both will either inhale or exhale as they're putting one of them. Because I'm out. so excited. Every you time. know that I'm like a puppy, and then <laughs> you don't even warn me. I have to warn you, like, every time you eat one, like, hey, don't forget not to inhale or exhale when you put that in your mouth. Uh, Liz says, I color in those adult coloring books. Those are fun. I have some of those, too. Foxy Koala says, I posted mine in the group. I don't know if Dan can manage that. Mooch's head is right in the way of the chat. Sorry, next week it'll be up on the mount again. Hannah says, so use my hand? Check. To sprinkle the powdered sugar? Friend, you do you. Whatever works. <laughs> my Last Weekend Adventure is a huge powdered sugar fan. I don't know that I've ever heard of anybody being a powdered sugar fan, but I'm all for it. Nancy has never used paints except for walls. Interesting. Uh, Tristan said, what mixer do you use for vodka? Um, right now my go-to has been the strawberry, orange, banana, great value Walmart brand, artificially flavored drink mix that you just mix with water. Ooh, this rolls off uh, the tongue. Right? I was just being specific so you guys can find exactly what it is. Um, I just make a pitcher of it mixed with water and sometimes I'll put in a little bit. I have, what is it, orange, pineapple, mango, something. That looks great. It's really hard to tell until the next day when you cut it, but yeah, it, it looks like it's supposed to. You get that crust on top, and then that powdered sugar will kind of help soften it. Putting it in the fridge, it'll all kind of come together overnight. Charlotte says, I embroider. I want to get into that. The, like, cross-stitch cross -stitch and embroidery. I started following this account on Instagram. I was showing Dan last night that they... Um, embroider the the circles. I don't know what they're called, but the circles where you put the fabric across it, the embroidery hoop thing. And they were embroidering, Needlepoint? huh? Needlepoint? No, no, no. It's it's the embroidery hoop, and you like clip the fabric into it, and then you do the embroidery floss stuff through it. But the finished product looked like a glass with a drink in it, and like light reflecting off of it, like. When I saw the first one, I glanced at it. I was like, what is this? They put a glass on an embroidery hoop, and then you zoom in, and you can see all the different stitches. It was amazing. So this is it. Voila. We have to let it cool before we put it in the fridge. Yes. You want to let it cool to pretty much room temperature. You don't want to put it in there while it's super hot, because you don't want the hot pan in your cold refrigerator. Can you move those over? There we go. All right, drinking is starting. Megan's about to have some strawberry whiskey. That sounds amazing. Hybrid just had to crack open a green apple Smirnoff. Ooh, enjoy your heartburn later. Uh, you, you're always talking about the heartburn when it comes to that. I used to love the that. Mike's Hard Lemonade and the Smirnoff drinks, but I don't know if it's my old age getting to me or what, but those drinks just give me heartburn. That's it. We have a bunch of hard lemonades in the cupboard right there, and they won't even go in the fridge because nobody wants heartburn. Loki's here. What's up, dude? How's my is, Hello, how's Steve. my audio? I feel like I'm blowing everybody out. Uh, also, um, it's two to two on Game Seven, uh, Vegas and Minnesota. Nice. I have it here. It's a good game. Good game, eh? Crystal, what are we gonna do for food? Food? Oh, I hadn't thought that far, and now I've been drinking, so that ship has sailed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crystal's been working on like new merchy stuff. I have. It's I, I have like 15 different things in the works, and nothing's actually done. <laughs> but we're getting there. We're getting there. 3D weekend's gonna be nice. Yes, yes it will. Look Hannah said also posted a photo of mine. Can you uh, make Thank that you. happen? Oh yes, I can absolutely make absolutely. that happen. Awesome. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, Jess says your audio sounds really good right Thank now. You. Nancy says I sew quilt, make stuffed animals, and some embroidery. That's awesome. I sew. I have made stuffed animals before for uh, for Nando's kids. Actually, I made. What did I make? I made a teddy bear an elephant and a giraffe for her kids. Um, I have stuff to make something for my nephew, but I haven't actually, I go in, in, in phases of like, now I sew for like a year and then I move on and now I paint for a year. And right now I'm baking for this year. So yeah, I just like to make things. That's, I love to make anything. Just, I see stuff, I'm like, I can make that. I can make that better than this. And I do. So Topo is, tr 
is pretty far away from the snacks that are here, but he really wants the snacks that are here. He's, <laughs> He's eyeballing it. He's eyeballing it, but I don't know if he can make. I don't know if he can make the jump, and he cannot. No, I'm better watch him. Uh, Don says, okay. "Thank you guys so for my cat hair and bonus shirt. It delivered last week. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Is it like the softest shirt you've ever owned? Is uh, it the best?" Brittany said she knew a cat had ten what hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were supposed to let roll over them all. Oops. Oh yeah. Sorry, not sorry. All right. So here. That's right. I made a lion. It wasn't a bear. It was a lion that I made for Gregory. And this looks nice. That looks oh, really, it does. That it looks, looks really. Good. Good. It looks just like yours. That looks yeah. really good. Approve. Good job, guys. Boop, boop. And, uh, it was Christy? Or no, uh, yeah, Christy. Awesome. Still? Yeah, that's right, right? Okay. Good. She likes powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be careful when you eat them so you don't choke on the powdered sugar. I've been getting down on those pickles. Yeah, Thank yeah. Thank you so much. That looks good, too. Approved. Approved. Don says, I was sewing masks in the beginning of the popular sickness. So did I. And then I bought a bunch of fabric to make us new ones so that we can have more than just, like, one or two, I think. I have three, and you have three? And Blake has one because he never leaves the house, and I made my mom one, and I bought a bunch of fabric, and I never made any more. I I have the hugest stack of fabric. Like I should not be allowed to buy any more fabric ever. But I go to the store, and the remnants get me. Those rolled up little remnants, and it's like two dollars. I'm like, hey, yeah, I can make something bites. out of this. And then I never make something out of this. I have tons of remnants. Chris, so we need food, food. Uh, John Hunter Nemechek has won the truck race. Oh, yeah? In case you were wondering. Like, <laughs> I don't even know who that is or what truck race was happening. Uh, Nanda says the stuffed animals are super cute and still very loved. That makes me happy. The best thing was when Gregory got his. I made it. Each of her kids got a stuffed animal for their first birthday. I hope Jason's not watching because I didn't make one for his kid's first birthday. Dang. But there's one coming. I promise. It, I'm out of the sewing phase of my life right now. I bought the I bought the are pattern. We ba we're baking. I bought the fabric. I never made the stuffed animal. But uh, her kid, her first kid unwrapped the lion. It was the super fuzziest material ever. I found the best material for it. And I have a picture of him. It's on my Instagram somewhere. Like, how old's your kid now? Like 10? Like 10 years back on my Instagram. And he pulled it out and he just like did this and it was the best thing ever. Like worth it. Worth all the trouble of making that damn stuffed animal because he snuggled it and it was the best thing ever. This is dice. Awesome. More powdered sugar. More powdered sugar, friend. More powdered <laughs> sugar. That looks really good though, die. So far we've had no failures and approved. She said in the chat she's not huge on powdered sugar. That's fair. They're still good. The powdered sugar does help to make that crust not so crusty. But yeah, go light on it if you're not a fan. That's totally fine. Charlotte says, trying to make a quilt. I think this is the third year I've been working on it. Yeah, I just, I can't get into quilting. That's a lot of work. I absolutely admire everybody who does it. Can't do it. Uh, my friend Anna was making quilts for a while. Beautiful. Like, I follow a lot of accounts on Instagram of, of ladies who make quilts. Absolutely amazing with the different patterns. And um, when they have those big things that do the, you don't know what it's called. It's a long arm something and it does the pattern on the quilt. You know what I'm talking about? No, I thought old ladies made quilts. No, young ladies are making quilts these days, Dan. No, I am out of the quilt game. Oh, well, young ladies are making quilts and like entering them in contests and winning and stuff. Oh, like the great, great, like quilt off? Absolutely. And they make beautiful, amazing patterns. It's not just like squares of fabric. They make all these weird like triangles and hexagons and do, I don't even know. I'm absolutely impressed by it. Do not have the skill or patience for that. I've made purses. Nanda has a purse that I made. I made um, like a, it's not a purse, it's a bigger bag for Kathy. I've made all kinds of stuff. Uh, what else is happening here? <laughs> Marco says, order you pineapple and pepperoni pizza. Ugh, no. No pizza? No. Yeah, I, I feel like we've eaten so much pizza in the last few weeks. I don't want pizza. I don't want pizza. Terry came out and we were bad last weekend. Yeah, we ate a bunch of fast food bullshit. Yeah. So much. It is so much. Bullshit. Quilting is intimidating with all the intricate details. Yes. And the, the binding around the edges and stuff and... That's it's a lot. It's a whole yeah, lot. Yeah, some things you just go to the store and buy. Yes, definitely. That's, that's what Amazon's for. Um, do you want a camera for a minute? I was gonna grab some paintings and show off uh, some paintings that I I've can done. Do that. Okay, hi. It's me. Let me turn off the. Let me turn off the light and let me turn off the light so I don't look so bad. Hi everybody. This is me in the corner here. Um, I will say. When we do the painting show, I have all these little paintings that I started like maybe 
close to 10 years ago. Look at back when I had chin hair. And I think I'm gonna try to finish some of these during the painting show. Like I think I'm just gonna paint them one color and just hit them up, like not fancy. And then we'll give some of them away. I think we'll do that. You remember when I had all of these? So I'm gonna make them not try oh, hard. Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like key line them real quick, make some damn things on them real fast, and we're gonna give these away. These are tiny and small. And maybe Crystal can paint one or two, just like solid and just super fast dots from your colors. Um, you know I'm like obsessive about things being perfect, okay. right? But this will be fun. We'll finish them and give them away. I yeah, I forgot you did that forever yeah. ago. There's like a little Dan robot. Look at my robot. Oh, is it gonna be in about me now? Okay, my bad. <laughs> yeah. You're uh, you're. Off. Uh, Amanda says you're really dark. That's because all the lights are aiming this way. Uh, visually, it does not look dark over there, but the camera looks really dark. You don't have any of the lighting over there. That's how you know how much goes into this. There's lights all over to, to make you beautiful. Yeah, I have crystal uh, a lot. Right all right. There. This is the first thing I ever painted, ever, ever. Um, not in love with it because perspective and lighting and stuff is off a little bit, but that's the first thing I ever painted. I love the tree, like this tree thing. I did another painting for uh, for your house sister. I did uh, for their wedding. Yes. And I did a tree with like birds in it representing like the two of them and their kids and stuff. And I, I really love the swirly tree doodle bit, but this was all just freehand. This was the one thing I did do freehand um, just based on an image I saw online of this kind of tree. You know, my paintings are dusty and need to be dusted. They rotate out, that used to be on the wall here. It did, yeah, it's on the wall in the bedroom now. Uh, the first paint kit one that I did was this one. If you guys go to socialartworking.com, you will see this on the website. This is the one that my friends and I did where they did purple here for the background because both of them, their favorite color was purple. Uh, this is the stuff that I'm really good at is the the depth. I don't know. You were good, right? Let me just see. I just wanted to go closer. Oh, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. To get that, like, depth and... and the blending and gradient of the colors in there. I'm really good at that. Can't draw to save my life, but really good at mashing the colors in together. And this is the one that Nanda and I both did that she did in a different color scheme. I think she did like cream color background and I did more of an orangey background. And these were both from the kits on the website. So it can be done. It's really not that hard. You guys can totally do this. Give it a shot. Um, one other thing I want to recommend, those 3M, like, Velcro, not Velcro things, that's what I use to hang these up. One of them sticks to the back of the canvas. One of them sticks on your wall. Won't take your paint off or anything. And it, like, Velcros together to go onto the wall, if that makes sense. Um, I did have one of them fall off once. That was it. Other than that, they all stay on really, really well. So I'm excited. I'm really excited to do that, that little mushroom one. I think that's super cute. I'm interested to see the difference between you and I, Dan, and, and how they turn out based on the kit. Yes. Because you've never really painted before. No, but I'm going to look for you to give me some blending tips and stuff. Maybe there's like a crummy canvas that I can just like blend on for a second to try to figure that out. But I'm, I'm just going for it. I, it's going to be bad news. It's going to be wonky. And I love it. Like, I'm so excited for it. Like, yeah, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to represent everybody else that doesn't have this, but who cares? I don't, I'm not trying to do this to be an artist. I want to have fun. Right. That's and it all is I fun. Care about. Look, I just want to have when fun. When me and my friends have had the paint parties before, like when you would work on Saturdays at the bike shop, There's I not... would invite all the girls over. And there was one week, one Saturday we did it where we brought in a whole like party table and set it up over there and moved the couch because we had so many people here painting. Everybody enjoyed it. Absolutely everybody loved doing it. Um, no matter your skill level, it gives you enough tips that you can kind of figure it out. Uh, Hybrid says, I'm intrigued and want one, but don't know if I can afford to get it. So the kits are super cheap. After shipping, I think it's like 10 bucks to get a, a one kit. You can also order each piece individually. So you can order just the, the design or just the uh, uh, instructions or you know you can order the pieces individually for like a buck or two and then it's like four or five bucks shipping um pretty reasonably priced for what it is to be able to give you the 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 tools for a design to paint they do also offer the canvases and the paint on there i don't necessarily recommend doing that because i feel like they're a little bit overpriced but it is super easy if you just want to add to cart and get what you need there um but i would recommend like i said going to michael's the canvases this one that we're going to be doing is a 12 by 12 canvas so you want a 12 by 12. i don't recommend buying an individual 12 by 12 canvas because like 
value for your dollar is not the best price, check the sales that they have because they often do like half price canvases and you can get a pack of like five or 10 of them or something like that or even a pack of two, check your dollar store. I know everybody's got a dollar store in their town. Go check the dollar store and see if they have canvases there. As long as they're not bent, it should work. Uh, BRM Bug says, use your mini paintings to figure out how to blend. Yeah, we have little canvases. I, Much like I have an absurd collection of fabric, I have an absurd collection of canvases. We Do you remember the year that we both worked for, I worked for the print shop and you worked for the bike shop, and for Christmas, our boss gave us $100 and said, go spend it. You have one hour to spend it and come back. You can spend more than $100, but you have to spend all of it or you have to give everything back. So we had an hour to figure out like, oh crap, what do I wanna buy? And I think you went and got some really overpriced headphones that you ended up hating. I went to Michael's and was like, hell yeah, canvas, paint, paintbrushes, everything. I spent $100 at Michael's in minutes, I was done. So yeah, I have a whole stack of canvases in the closet. I have a whole cubby hole in my bookshelf. I have a whole cubby hole full of paint over there. I have an absurd amount. Uh, Amanda says, I get my canvases at Michael's. Dollar store's a good idea. I have a whole paint room. Oh, I would love a whole paint room. Are, are all the canvases the same? Um, some of them, okay, so like the little ones that you just pulled up, they're, they're not, I mean, like, dollar store versus Michael's. Yes, yeah. I would just watch out with the dollar store because, and even when you get them at Michael's, make sure they're not bent. That's the biggest thing. If they're, like, tweaked a little bit and you hang them on the wall, it's going to still be tweaked. Uh, good canvases will usually, do these ones have it? Because I bought some, yeah. I don't know. Can we get this camera down? So this is a good thing to check for if they have this. Um, it's a little slot here and a little slot here. And I don't think the canvases come with them, but you can buy them a little wedge piece of wood to wedge in there so that if it is tweaked a little bit, you can wedge that in there and that'll straighten that out a little bit. But generally speaking, just the only thing you have to watch for is to make sure that they're not bent up. The ones that you have, the little mini ones you have, aren't mounted. These are mounted on a frame. These are like stretched over the frame. Yours aren't. Yours are like stretched over, where are those? These are just flat on the back. They're thin and flat and they're not stretched over a frame of wood. Amanda says, Michael's is my drug of choice. I had to stop going. I, I bought way too much stuff. I don't have any room to store any more craft stuff. Like if you want a project done, I probably have something that will work for it. You need fabric, you need paint, you need beads, you need perler beads. You know those things that you put on the little pegs and then you iron them? Whole collection of those, got into that for a while. Um, literally like any oh I got into like yarn and and crocheting but uh making hats but with the little rings you can buy those rings and make the hats on the rings I got into that for a while I have all that stuff we have a collection of embroidery floss I have so much craft stuff I'm not allowed to go to Michael's anymore unless it's for a specific thing I can't just wander around there and buy things that are on sale because I have a problem uh, yes, Di, that's a good idea. Sometimes Ross has canvases and brushes, etc. Yes, um, and all I think owned by pretty much the same company or close to it because they have the same items in it. Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. Check those places pretty much for anything, but also for uh, painting supplies and stuff. Uh, Hybrid says, my cousin has some spare canvases I can use. There you go. Grab some canvases. The, the little uh, jars of paint. Oh, I have two whole... Uh, Rubbermaid containers full of the little bottles of craft paint from Walmart. Those are like 50 cents to a dollar each. Stock up on those. You only need, I think, I want to say like seven to ten colors for the painting that we're doing. If you're going to paint along with us, you can get that for three, four bucks if you just go to Walmart. And just get whatever colors. You, again, you don't have to do the exact colors that it calls for. If you want to, the website, when you click on the paint kit and scroll down, it will show you all the colors, the exact color names that you want to use. Just get close enough or change the colors if you want to. If you want your mushroom to be blue instead of red, get blue instead of red. It does not matter. Amanda says, Chris has to set a dollar limit for me. I go in for a few things and end up coming out with the whole Ooh, store. Oh, it's so easy. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm oh, Dan's the worst. Dan's like, F it. Get it. Why not? Oh, my God. You guys, one time I went to, was it Michael's where I got the cat head? 
There's a like Dia, Dios de los Muertos cat head, like a plaster cat head. And I'm like, hell yeah, I need this. And Dan's like, F it, get three of them, why not? And I bought three of them because they were on sale or I had a coupon or something. I got three cat heads I haven't even painted in there. And at the time that I bought those, I had a whole little like haunted house Halloween decoration I still haven't finished painting. I love to start projects. I rarely finish projects. Uh, Nancy says, need to do kitty paw print paintings. Here's the thing, cats are not like dogs and cats bathe themselves. So you would have to clean the cat off. Oh, it'd be so hard. Do dogs bathe themselves? Not so much. They like lick themselves. Uh, my mom's one dog licks the other dog all the time. He's looking at his eyeball when I was over there the other day. Um, they do it more for like itching. Not so much. They don't bathe themselves like cats do. I, I don't know much about dogs, so correct me if I'm wrong, but they don't, they aren't like bathing their whole body. Uh, Jason wants to know what the F you were doing looking at the ceiling. We were, we're till one hour trying to find the fly. Oh, uh, still trying to find that fly? Brittany says, I'm like that at Office Depot. I think we all have that one store that just like, oh man, get me in there and I'm going to do some damage. What are you buying at Office Depot? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> pencils? Do you need pencils? Amanda has crochet yarn and needles that she started last year. It's half done and it's sitting in there gathering dust. Oh, I'm scared to go through that back bedroom this weekend that we're going to we're gonna switch Blake into the bigger bedroom. I'm scared to go through it because of the amount of, of half done projects that we're going to pull out of there. I know there's like an oil paint kit in there. I think there might be a watercolor kit in there. The cat heads are in there. The haunted house is in there. Oh man, there's so much stuff in there. So many half finished projects. A whole collection of Sims DVD or discs. What do we do with that, Dan? I'm never gonna play Sims 1 again. No one's gonna buy that. What do we do with Sims 1? We need a time capsule, but I guess those are called uh, <laughs> rental storage places. <laughs> right? I'm not paying for storage for my junk. No, we are not. We are making a rule. We can't fit it in the house of Scott's to go. I'm glad to see I'm not the only one with like half finished projects. My last week of adventure says I have a problem when I go to the Dollar Tree. That used to be my jam back in the day, like when I first got a job. When Dan and I first moved to get in together, Probably 75% of my home decor was dollar store stuff because I would go in there and they had like candle holders and, and artwork and stuff. And I just bought all this stuff that just like, oh, that's good enough. And I would just buy all this crap to decorate. Do you remember, Dan, when we first started dating and I lived here in that back bedroom and like every inch of the walls was covered with something to the point where I even had stuff on the ceiling, like artwork, like pictures stapled to the ceiling I, we're at? And when I lived in that back bedroom oh, right, right, like right. before you lived here I yes. obsessively decorated the entire house and then we moved in together and I was like dude I've got a box of dishes in my closet we've got dishes also I've got decor for you the came, entire house you came with the house I had an entire house worth of decor absolutely you just, you just like unboxed it and it was done <laughs> Jason says okay Rick which is my dad finish them or throw them out oh my dad was notorious I, I think it must be an ADD thing my brother is diagnosed ADHD I bet if I went to a doctor I could get diagnosed ADD like but you don't have because of the I don't have the hyperactivity like that oh uh, no you have the opposite of hyperactivity just the yeah <laughs> but yeah inactivity hyper inactivity uh, but I am obsessive with like, oh my god, I'm gonna start this project and then it gets shoved away. My dad was all about that. There were so many half-finished projects. Steve says, I think you can get The Sims for free now. Aww. He Love the Husky says, dogs don't bathe themselves, only their crotch. <laughs> yeah. Hybrid says, Dollar Tree is great for a bunch of college kids who need snacks, uh, also 40-year-old people. That's my thing now. I don't go in there for like, I, I try to restrain myself on craft supplies. I don't go in and buy home decor. But damn it, if I don't leave with twenty dollars worth of snacks that I didn't need. Where at? Dollar store. Oh right. Every time. Oh man, they they've got toffee peanuts. They've got corn nuts. No, it's generic. Look at these bootleg onions. Tell the, them about the, the onions. The, onions? The, the knockoff funyuns. <laughs> I think I do still yeah. have. No, I think I threw them away last time I went. Is there funyun? Is there funyun fans? Oh, I have my. Okay, so we talked about this before. How funyuns are really greasy and super expensive. My dollar store, the ninety nine cents only, has. Granny Goose onion rings. These are my jam. I buy like three or four of these at a time. No, th I think I got rid of the onions. I couldn't find these for a while at the 99 cents only, so we went to the other dollar store and Still got my onions. <laughs> Better than cheesy poops. Better than cheesy poops. There's so many snacks there. There's like 
knockoffs of things. There's like bootleg things you never heard of before. I'm dangerous in the dollar store. It's a dollar. Everything's a dollar. Hell yeah, we just spent fifty dollars at the dollar store. We're walking out with like three bags. What did we do? We don't need this stuff. Uh, Mega says thanks everyone for talking about painting. I do. I could talk about painting forever. I'm excited to do the paint party. It's. It's it's something I really enjoy doing, and I'm I'm excited to see what it's gonna look I'm like with to. us doing the same painting. I'm excited too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm interested to see how it goes. You have painted before. You finger painted. We have a finger painting that Dan did hanging like, on the wall. I did like under hours worth of painting ever. So I in don't your whole life. Yes. So like that's not much. So I'm excited for it. Also, I'm excited in my head um, how to like, try to set this up visually. Yeah, that's the hard part. Yeah, that's I'll, I'll get the kits all set up. I got that part, but you need to figure out cameras and stuff. Oh my god, Don. Yes, I did scrapbooking. I also have not done that in like, probably not 15 years. Let's see, yeah, I think I think Blake was like 10 when I stopped. Room. No, they're right there in that cubby hole. The second one up all the way on the left has a... When, when Blake was like in school and doing stuff, I, I scrapbooked for years and years and years, and I would sit on the floor of our bedroom and scrapbook all these pages I that started because Kathy gave me like here's some scrapbooking stuff if you want a scrapbook I made a page and I'm like hell yeah I'll scrapbook so I was into that for about a year uh, Hannah says I ordered the pattern and instruction didn't need the carbon paper which is the only other thing the kit came with but saved me several bucks yeah if you order one kit or you have carbon paper already you can absolutely skip the carbon paper not buy the whole kit it you can get the instructions separately let me move this I don't want to hold things over the lemon bars I think we moved on. We're not doing lemon bars anymore. That was a quick recipe. We're done. Thanks to everyone who baked along. Let me know uh, what you think tomorrow. Uh, Sharon says, how the bars come out? I think they're good, but you never know until the next day after they've been refrigerated overnight. Let's see. Oh, y'all want to see some Blake? Oh, this isn't the first one. There's another one in there. This is like the, the sad second one. This was Easter 2007. Oh yeah, I have a whole collection of scrapbooking scissors, all the little like edges and stuff. All the edge ones. Yep, yep, to get all these little swoopy edges. Which are not good for cutting like open packages at all. No, I they're not. Them. They're good for cutting paper and that is about it. Oh, one time we went to Disneyland, Blake's little Autopia driver's license in here and I put his picture on there and everything. This picture is my favorite. I have a picture of me at about the same age with my dad in one of these cars. So I took a picture of Dan and uh, Blake in there. I also have a picture of me in one of those cars at like five. Do you? I think yeah. everybody does. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other one. Anyway. Oh, this makes me happy. I did a lot of work. Yeah, look at this. Oh, look. Look at, here's a baking venture. Blake wanted a pirate themed party, so I made him a pirate cake and we went to the candy store and we bought all kinds of like piratey loot themed candy and we stuck it inside this fail of a pirate shit or a, a treasure chest cake that I made. So hot, his birthdays are in July. Yes, it was always so hard to make so, cakes. So hard to do anything. Oh yeah, I went on on uh, Oriental Trading. If you guys have small children and need stuff for parties, Oriental Trading is the best. We got like, pirate ship or pirate map kits for the kids to make pirate maps we did like a bingo and stuff oh we had the best fun with birthday parties dan on the roof making a pinata happen that's right we got a little pirate ship pinata oh blake played soccer oh my god i scrapped up the heck out of things we went to aquarium aquarium of the pacific because <laughs> that's what the commercial says blake was obsessed with whatever this fish is for a while do you remember that yeah it's angelfish no i don't think so maybe i don't know maybe somebody out there knows it's fox and koala here what kind of fish is this yes i don't know halloween oh. was good oh i don't know if you guys have seen the uh the Transformers costume that I made for Blake out of craft paint and cardboard boxes from USPS that were free. That was a rad one. That was really cool. And a themed out uh, Transformer pumpkin to go with it. Oh, and Mooch eating pumpkin. Little Mooch. Yeah, this was 07. Oh, that's when we got Mooch. That, that was Mooch's first Halloween in 2007. Lionfish, oh. yes, you guys, awesome. Thank you, that is a lionfish. What else is going on? By. Yeah. Uh, Blake's seventh birthday was Spongebob themed. I, don't, I think we did cupcakes that year. I don't think we had a cake that year. We did Spongebob themed? Yeah. 
Yeah, he had a SpongeBob blow up chair. I forgot about that. I forgot about that one too. We purged SpongeBob. Yeah. Oh, that was the year I did invitations where I, I bought little tiny water bottles. They had these water bottles that were like short and fat. And I made my brother bring me a big Ziploc full of sand. We he, still have one so much. Huh? He lived in Long Beach. Yeah, he lived in Long Beach. He brought me a big old bag of sand. I took these these water bottle jars and I put sand in them and hung, I bought little uh, figurines of SpongeBob and hung them from the top, like hot glued them to the lid and then printed the invitation and rolled it up like a little scroll and stuck it in there. And that's how everybody got their invitation. Dude, I have way too much free time. Way too much free time. I think Dan's in there trying to find, oh, he did find it. And there's treasure chest in there. The treasure chest is still there. This is my SpongeBob invitation for the SpongeBob party that had a uh, little Patrick and SpongeBob hanging little in it. Uh, I had the little hole punches from Michael's that made little stars and flowers and actual shells and sand from the beach in there. And that's the, the little invitation all rolled up and tied up in there. I I forgot I did that. Hey, that's, you do a lot. That's yeah. a lot. <laughs> like, who does that? Um, I took uh, beach pails. Remember I took the beach pails for Is each kid? Is this the kid? actual invitation in there? That's the actual invitation. So it says yeah. words on there. Yeah. And it was... Oh, you're going to be able to roll it back up? Look, the, the Patrick and the... The SpongeBob were glued to that, so you couldn't take that out. Are you? Gonna, do we get to see it, or is that? Do you oh, want to see the invitation? I do, but I don't want you to ruin it. No, it's just it's just tied up. I can tie it back up. Yeah, um, my last week of adventure. I am not a SpongeBob fan either, but that look when that's what your kids into, that's what you do. But I also got little pails from the dollar store, remember? And I painted each kid's name on the outside, and I painted the SpongeBob yeah, characters on it. Cool. I don't even remember what the invitation was. Oh. <laughs> Join us in Bikini Bottom for Blake's seventh birthday party. Oh, it has my address on there. Don't look at my address. That's so cool. It's like a time machine. It is. I totally forgot I did this. I'll have to tie that up it's later. It's like 13 years ago? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, he'll be 20 this summer. Oh my gosh. What else did we do? Oh, Blake's kindergarten graduation. Oh, that was good. Oh, his teacher was cool. Oh, yeah, I remember her. Oh, Blake was King Blake. Oh, yeah. King Blake and Count Blake when he could count to 100. And he was a uh, Rudolph. That's, that's his actual Rudolph nose from the play that he wore. The Rudolph nose made it to the uh, scrapbook. I have other ones. I don't know if this is boring to you guys at all, but I'm a little bit drunk and walking down memory lane here. Oh, look at little baby Dan with Aww. little baby Blake. Way pre Mohawk. It was. Aww. Oh, little baby Blake, who's now a man that towers over me. This was the page that Kathy made. This is what she gave me that got me into scrapbooking. She's like, I made this page if you want a scrapbook. And then I did. Look at little baby Blake, he's so cute. Blake had good hair. Go back one. Blake had a good hair. But his mom wanted to cut it. Can you bring that one a little closer, please? There you go, right there. That's good. Blake always had the coolest, like, surfer hair. Yeah, and then she started shaving his head. Yeah, it was awful. I didn't like that. I was like, don't shave his head. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, the Spider-Man cake I made for his fourth birthday. That was the first cake I made for him. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you did so much scrapbooking. I did. Oh, remember, our remember power, the Power Ranger? Our Power Ranger phase, which was easy because you just ordered the costume. I think we went to like, Kmart and got it yeah, for like 20 bucks. There's nothing you could do to like Power Ranger. Oh, the first time in Blake's life when it snowed and it barely snowed, we made like two snowballs. Like that was it. Look how old he was before he had his first snow in his life. Yeah, like, that was 2006. He was five. You imagine? Yeah, snow. five years old, no snow in your life, and then snow. Like, what's that like? I guess me too. I guess my first snow. My first snow had to have been eight years old when I was here. I was four. The first year we oh moved out here, uh, 1984, we got snow that was like feet deep. Like multiple feet. Dang. It was Yeah, so maybe my first snow was when I was, maybe my first snow was when I was eight. Oh, you don't need to look at my kid's butt. No. That was great. That was great <laughs> to zoom in on that. Oh, there's another cake I made. Oh, the Cars cake. The Light Cars the cake was cake. good. Um, that was another one that I had to put in the fridge every, like, 20 minutes. I would frost it for 20 minutes, stick it in the fridge. Frost it for 20 minutes, stick it in the fridge. 
One year, AJ had a Paw Patrol party. I painted a trifold poster board bricks and cut out windows and put paper flames in the windows for the kiddo kiddos to throw homemade bean bags that I covered. Yes, and, 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 and hand soap. Not one kid used it. That's oh, heartbreaking. Okay, <laughs> That's so really sad. I did that too, remember? And it wasn't as elaborate as what you did. We did the Pokemon one, I think, wasn't it? And the, thank you for doing that, Pokemon by the way. That's, toss. Even if nobody used it. Yeah, even if the kids didn't appreciate that we was, appreciate yeah, that you that did Yeah, that was it. rad. We did one where I cut stuff in a... In, in a like foam core board. Yeah, and nobody cared either. Oh, one time we made Blake lay on a bed of nails, and he was about as enthusiastic as he looks in that picture. Oh, right. <laughs> he was so traumatized. What's, that was at the Discovery Science Center. I need this picture. What's going? What's going uh, I on? I think he was climbing a rock wall and you were helping what's him. What's going on with my face facial hair here? Oh yeah. I look like three eleven. Chin strap. I look like three eleven. You were coming original for sure. Oh <laughs> boo. Bump. Oh, Blake was a Ghostbuster. That one was easy also because you couldn't. You had to buy that one. Like there wasn't yes. really much we could do on that one. That was yeah. We just, it's just the inflatable backpack and the Ghostbuster thing. Oh, uh, then we went camping. Camping. Oh, Blake trying to glow stick. Oh, some Christmas stuff. Oh, we had family pictures done one time. Yeah. Just once. Before the tattoos. What? <laughs> he has uh, tattoos. And all Blake's cars toys. He was oh my god, so cars. many cars toys. Yep. And That's then, all. And then we stopped carrying. And then I stopped scrapbooking. Yep. <laughs> That's about it. Steve says maybe a splash of Sugar Ray with that hair. Yeah, there you go. I just want to fly. <laughs> Don says I wanted the memories for trips down memory lane like this. Yeah, it's awesome to look back at that and be like, oh, I forgot all about those things that we did. A couple pictures here and there stand out, but like to look at those birthday parties and remember like, oh yeah, I did that thing. Uh, Amanda needs to get AJ to bed. Good night, everyone. Good night, Amanda, and good night, uh, AJ. How you doing? It's coming up on 8 o'clock. Uh, oh, okay. Well, there's what kind of crystal we're getting tonight. <laughs> so. So what? To talk about the lemon bars real quick. Yes. Um, I noticed it's still sitting out there. Well, I, I forgot. What do we wait It for, has to get the... to room temperature because you don't want to put the hot pan in the cold fridge. So okay. we get it down to, you know, comfortable. Eh, it's probably about there. Um, I need a Tetris in the fridge and make room for it. So once I do that, I'm going to cover it with foil, put it in the fridge overnight. Basically, if you want to have it for breakfast, you can cut a slice in the morning. So by, by morning, it'll be good. That's all. Yeah. Yay, lemon bars. Yes. Thank you to everybody who made them along with us. Yep. Uh, Don says when kids start school, it got harder to scrapbook. Absolutely. We yeah. also got one of those um, those school books where, like, every year you, you know, have the kid write down, like, his height and his weight and who his friends are and all that. I think we got to about ninth grade on that. 10, 11, 12. We put a couple of things, like, reports he wrote and stuff in there done with it. I feel bad. I always said like I'm gonna do the thing and I'm not gonna be that parent that like fills out the baby book and doesn't finish after the first two years of the kid's life or whatever. No, I was that parent. The last three years of school we did nothing. Uh, Hannah says I put mine in the fridge but I have a metal pan. Yeah, by all means if it's cool enough put it in the fridge. The glass pan is a little bit hotter. I think it retains the heat a little bit more. Uh, Sharon is falling asleep and going to bed. Good night Sharon. Thank you for joining us. What are we doing after this? Making some food? I got, yes, I got I'm a, ready for real food. I gotta absorb your alcohol. I can, yeah. I can tell you're buzzy. A little bit. Hey, yeah. good job on all this stuff, Crystal. You did a lot of stuff. Are we talking about, like, baking stuff tonight or, like, birthday parties? Uh, you know, you can apply it wherever you'd all like the to things. apply it. You can apply I'm just it. crafty. I just like to make things. And you can go online and, like, buy pre-made stuff. But I would always look at it and be like, you don't need to do that. Like, I can make a cool SpongeBob. And this, hold on, you guys. This was before Pinterest. This was out of my own damn brain. It was. It was. It was before Pinterest. And I'm like, go get some seashells and go get some sand for me. Shout out to Jason for helping out with that one. Couldn't have done that without you, bro. Right. Uh, Brittany says, that's okay. No one wants to remember high school. It's true, huh? Those are the awkward braces years and pimples and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, Crystal, I did all the things. I've always done all the things. I love to make. I, I like to create. You're good at it. Yeah, you're, mostly. You're good at it. And when I'm not, I just put it away in that back room and then it stays there forever to be unearthed this weekend. Really yes. not looking forward to that. I am totally looking forward to this. I'm looking I, forward I, to it being done. I, I've mentally prepared myself to purge. That's the theme of this weekend is purge. I'm ready for that. Yes. Yeah. I'm ready to, I'm ready to Yeah, because the plan is the, the bedroom that we're going to move Blake into is... Half the size. Probably, no, it's probably 50% bigger. 
because the closet doesn't push into the room and it's deeper. So it's probably 50% bigger than the room he's in now. Anything we're gonna keep has to go into the bedroom he's currently in now. So we need to get rid of like 50% of that stuff. Some of it's yard stuff, so we'll get a shed and put it outside and, and put some of the yard stuff in there. But other than that, we need to get rid of some stuff. I'm ready. It's, it's my time to purge weekend. Away. It's the purge. Good. We're locking ourselves indoors. We'll, we'll be we'll be live tomorrow for Dantix at six yes. o'clock. Yeah. But Other then than that, all soon we're doing is, that, is, is cleaning and purging. It's lights out while we clean and purge. Yeah. Yeah. And eat burgers. We need buns. Yeah, you have to go get buns. Uh, we'll black paper scissors for buns. Oh wait. What? Okay, one, two, three, go. Yeah. <laughs> you did it wrong. Uh, ow! You're not supposed to act it out. Yeah, this, now you have to go get buns. This ain't battle chess. <laughs> it is. Oh my god. What's the point of winning if you can't punch? Oh, uh, Misty fan named Jen with the hard hitting questions. Crystal, why was Blake in the smaller room? Okay, so when Blake was little, the big room was a playroom. Yeah, he, well, that had yes. all his toys in it. Because we had a shed in the backyard. Yes. Then the shelf fell down like the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Yeah, the shed like collapsed. It was it was bad. The shed was really bad. So we had to take everything out of the shed. But then what do you do with all the stuff? So we purged what we could, but some of the tools and stuff had to go into that bedroom. Blake was getting older. He wasn't really using the playroom. Like we had it set up with like a TV and all yeah, his toys and video games. It was a fun game games. room. It was like toy that movie Toy with right. Richard Pryor. Yeah. Um, and he yeah. only used his room to sleep in. Otherwise, he'd be, like, out here hanging out with us, or he'd be in the playroom. He'd get up in the morning and go in there and watch TV and play with toys. Yeah, and that was uh, almost two Olympics ago. At least. <laughs> yeah. So he hasn't played with toys in a while, and that room just kind of became a catch-all. And it wasn't really a big deal until now he's, like, I'm almost done. 20. I'm done. What? I'm done. I'm, I'm ready to get rid of stuff. Yeah? I'm ready to get rid of my parallel cables and my serial cables from my computer. Oh, I don't so think I'm going to need those me. anymore. So much. Yeah, Blake's, oh my Blake's bought a desk, and he got Dan's old desk because he wanted more desk space. And those are crammed into the tiny room. Yeah. And we're like, dude, it's not uh, fair I have, anymore. like, every console, and, like, I have stuff. In, like, we want to set it up so it's, like, super fun game room area. Yes. We have an Oculus thing. Yeah, and not enough space to play it yeah uh hannah with the super chat tip your host thank you so much for the support oh yes yeah, super chats do help keep the show going it, it helps us out if you guys can't afford a super chat no problem please just make sure to hit that thumbs up share the streams with your friends let them know what we're doing invite your friends to come watch even if they don't want to bake like mm -hmm. we have fun you guys have fun right yeah this uh, is fun don says good luck on reducing the stuff i have a hard time letting things go because i always want them later oh that's the thing that i do like i get rid of it and like six months later i'm like damn i got rid of that thing what does miss niecy from clean house do does she make us who wants a clean house? Do I get to keep one or two things, or like how many? How many? Okay. We should have three strikes. Here, no, here's the here's the thing. As soon as you touch something, you have to make a decision. Your decision is donate, trash, or keep. But what if I make? What if you're making a bad decision? Then we can compromise and discuss. How do we sort it out? If it's mine, I make a decision. If it's yours, you make a decision. But I keep it all. You can't keep it all. See, so then how do we <laughs> then, determine then it? Then I'm just throwing everything away. We should arm wrestle or we should have a... We should have a... Rochambeau. Who? <laughs> <laughs> the one hit... Rock, paper, scissors. The one hit wonder band? <laughs> no. So, yeah, I think... Uh, anything else you want to say? I don't know. Where was it going? I don't know. I you just walked away. Um, you want to get out of here and wrap it up? Yeah. Yeah. I need food. All right, then I should, I should feed Crystal. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 o'clock for Nantix. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you to everybody who mm -hmm. baked along. If you haven't already, fun. please post a picture in the Facebook group. Yes, if you guys haven't already, group. please join the Facebook group. Follow us on Instagram. Post the things you make. I want to see what you guys make. Share recipes. Let's uh, let's build this community. Share it with your friends. Uh, Jason says we should live stream and it would be like an episode of Hoarders. It's not that bad. I mean, There's no stacks of old magazines like your dad's house, bro. If we need social interaction, I will. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Hannah with a super chat that is blocked by Mooch. One more to end the night. Love you guys. Thank you so much, Hannah. We love Bye, you. Hannah. We do appreciate the support. Uh, Futuristic Pichu Pikachu says, oh, man, I missed it. That's okay. You can go back and watch or come back tomorrow night at 6 p.m. We will be live with an episode of Dantix. Call I'm in. Try to win. Mouse Queen won't be there. You guys have a chance. Oh, I've got the insider tip. Mouse Queen will not be there. Hey, I don't even get tips. Hey, so <laughs> I'm so excited for painting. I'm sad it's like a month away. I needed to give everybody time to order the kit, get the supplies. Like maybe you can't get it this week. You gotta wait for your next paycheck. Right. So plan ahead, budget it, or just find a cheap canvas, find a piece of paper, do what you gotta do. Like create. Let's create cardboard box. Paint on a cardboard paint box. Night. It's paint night. Paint night means um, 
putting liquid objects on solid things. Whatever yes, you, want to you do. can get like two dollars worth yes. of paint at the Walmart and a cardboard box, and you can paint something with us, guys. We want to see what you make, so consider painting along with us. Uh, uh, futuristic Pikachu wants to know what our time zone is. We are Pacific time, so it is currently yes, eight oh five here. Yes, there is a here. schedule in all our groups. Yes, on on our groups we have posted a calendar that posts um, all our stuff we do. Every show we do, aside from Daily Dan, is at six p.m. Pacific time. Daily Dan is at eight thirty a.m. Pacific time. Hope that helps. Uh, hybrid says, remind me who makes the kits. It's social I'm artworking. Stuck. Can you help me, please? Uh, <coughs> the link, if you go to <coughs> RFS Dan and Family Group on Facebook, the link is in there. It's social-artworking.com, and they have the design kits on there. They have, like, when I first started doing them, they had maybe 20. They have, like, at least 100 now. There's so many on there. So you can definitely find something you like, even if you don't want to paint the mushroom with us. So consider it. It'll be fun. Check it out. Um, that's all I got. Thanks for joining, guys. We'll see you tomorrow night for Dantics.